Jesus said, for as long as it's called sin and sin to you, tomorrow it shall be holy unto you. So let's look at Simon Sack. Uh, we just kind of talk about these couple of chapters that really clearly talk about the sin that don't come into these to these games. Of course, this is the first ever game for this young Connor Wade team. They haven't played football in over two years. Some of them uh, haven't played since high school. They're very young, very inexperienced Cardinal team going up against Mountain Wade's best run in Arctic season. It's 3-0. They've won the last five uh, titles in multiple seats. They're very good, a very experienced team uh, that came, came uh, to the conference camp.
So it's going to bring up a third down now. Ball on the 45-yard line. It's going to be a third and 25, 13-22 uh, remaining in the first quarter. Cardinals right now caught a really big break there after the huge kick return, a uh, face mask penalty, and then a good defense on the ball, and then a quarterback slippage there. So Five receivers, one of the slots spread formation. Martinez goes back. He throws long. He's got a man wide open at the 10-yard line. It's caught for first down. He's going to be tackled inside the five. And that he was a, a receiver wide open for Monterey Tech. That was going to be number 44, it looks like, for Monterey Tech. Excuse me, number 84, Alejandro Ramos with the reception. The Cardinals had him pinned down third and 29. That's going to bring up a fourth down and three to go now. And on fourth down, we're going to see what the Rams are going to do here. 12.25, uh, excuse me, 12.59 remaining. Uh, number 23, uh, Aaron Hernandez uh, on the coverage on the play just uh, played it too short and allowed the receiver to get to be get behind him. Looks like he was playing some kind of zone and able to get the huge gain and get the first down. Fourth for and three, Rams. Martinez under center. He hands off to uh, number 21, Castan. He's going to get stopped in the back though. That's going to be turnover with downs now for Incarnate Word. They got the first down. Excuse me. They did get the first down, so it's going to be a first and goal now, Six. second and goal. At the 12:33 mark, excuse me for the uh, our Benson Stadium scoreboard is uh, not keeping up with our plays. So that's going to be 12:26 now remaining in the uh, first quarter, and we're going to go to Marisa Calderon on the sideline so she can tell us a little about what's going on down there with the crowd. Well, the crowd is definitely very excited right now, and I'm actually standing in front of the Borregos crowd, which are extremely, extremely excited about this, and. Um, well, as you can hear them, they're getting ready because it's going to get interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Marisa. Uh, on that second and four, a little play action rollout for Martinez. He's going to be stopped around the second yard line. That's going to bring up third and goal now for the Rams. And I'll tell you what, this Cardinal defense is holding steady as they did all uh, during our spring games in our last scrimmage. Uh, the Cardinal defense really stuck out. Uh, number 52, Alan Ford on the play there, able to make the quarterback kind of half hit out of bounds there and able to keep him out of the end zone for that, and it'll make it third and goal. Third and goal, Martinez is sending a little play action. He looks, uh, has some time, and he's going to get tackled by Carter Wood, almost sacked. He had to practically throw the ball away in the corner of the end zone. Good pressure by the Cardinals. They're able to cause the incomplete pass, and they're going to hold down, hold the Borregos to a field goal here. So we, look, we were looking over the offensive line for uh, Monterey Tech against our defensive line, and how how was that looking? Uh, it's actually pretty fairly even here. Ty, uh, Ty, our defensive tackle, uh, 6'3", 305 pounds, the biggest defensive lineman against uh, Marisa Loya, the big guard for Monterey Tech, 6'5", 331. Monterey Tech uh, with a field goal, that is good. That's going to put them on the board first. 0-3, Monterey Tech, 11-21 uh, in the first quarter. Troy, uh, I got to tell you, I do like this defensive stand on this first quarter. I mean, the uh, Rams had a big, big opening kickoff, 60-yard run into Cardinal territory. They started off with a couple of a face mask penalty uh, that sent them back, and uh, the defense held, held steady. What do you think? Well, if they're able to keep the Rams out of the end zone all day, even if they do manage to... Or, even they do manage to get in the red zone a right. lot. If they keep them out of the end zone, it's actually not going to be that bad of a bad of a day for them. If you, they just keep holding them to field goals. Allow me for uh, right now special thanks to ProSportsTechnologies.com. Want to visit that site whenever you get a chance. And special take special thanks to uh, Sea Island Shrimp House over there at the Colonnade. Uh, have some great friends over there for. Uh, great friends and co-workers over there at Sea Island. If you're interested in underwriting with KUIW, give us a call. That's 805-KUIW. we got some great uh, advertising packages for the rest of the remainder of the season. It's going to be nine more games, um, four more here at home, and five on the road. Great, great rates if you want to advertise with KUIW. It's 1121, and uh, the Rams are getting set to kick off to Incarnate Word. Uh, back deep for Incarnate Word is going to be number six, Derek Walls. He's a freshman, 5'8", 152 pounds for uh, Incarnate Word set to receive uh, the kickoff. And this crowd is really, really getting into the game here for Incarnate Word and Monterey Tech. And we are just underway for the kickoff. 
Well, Jacob Love, one of the few juniors on the team, is going to take the kickoff here. Out to the 25. Excuse me, it looks like it's going to be Reels returning uh, the ball. That was Trent Reels, number no. 22. 82. Jacob Love on the return there. Penalty flag on the play, though. We'll see how that, what that does to this return. So it's going to be 11-16, and we're going to waiting just for a second to see uh, what this penalty is going to be about. And it looks like it's going to go against the Carnet Word Cardinals. It's going to set us back already on the 20-yard line, finding out just what's going on here. A little discussion here. It doesn't look like they're moving the ball that far. Oh, they will be moving the ball back here. It's going to be called block in the back. So uh, a special, first special teams play returning for the uh, Cardinals there is a about a ultimately a five-yard gain there after the penalty. I didn't really see the block in the back there, but uh, that's just a case of inexperience by the Cardinal players. And if you're just tuning in, it's 0-3. to three. The Rams scored a field goal on their opening drive. They took the opening kick 60 yards into Incarnate Word uh, territory. The uh, defense held. That's a uh, field goal. to 11-16 here in the first quarter. Cards first down and 10 on the 14-yard line. Starting quarterback for Incarnate Word, Thomas Specia. The junior, 6'3", 216 pounds, played some high school football at Reagan High School. He's going to be handing off to uh, Trent Reels, the uh, redshirt freshman. He's 5'8", 175 pounds. He played some ball at Smith and Valley. Uh, we, we got a tailgater back there holding up a number 22, Trent Reels sign. Uh, it might be his dad uh, we did get a chance, nice chest. I did get a chance to talk to Trent, uh, Trent's parents earlier today. They were at the uh, tailgate. Uh, festivities going on at our campus and they're very nervous. They, uh, his dad said he was just as nervous as Trent going back into the game. I asked him about how he felt about Trent playing uh, after a little two-year layoff. He said uh, he wasn't too concerned about that because they've been hitting pretty hard this uh, this summer. So here we go, the first uh, offensive uh, series for Incarnate Word. We have Specia in shotgun, two receivers, one in the slot, Rios in the backfield. He's out. Here's a man in motion and he's going to hand off a little option play and we're going to have a pass to uh, look the it was intended to Robert Williams, number one at the 40 yard, uh, 40 yard line. That's going to be weighing complete, completely underthrown. That's why I don't like the uh, anyone but the quarterback to throw the ball, even on a double reverse. But uh, some trick, some trickery here for uh, Cardinals early on. So we'll see if they'll continue that through the throughout the day, or they're just going to keep, or they're going to go to a more modern offense. Here. And that was Todd Walker with the pass. Uh, the uh, senior. So we got Specia in shotgun, Walker in motion, reels to the left of him. Here comes the snap, and Specia's going to throw left to Walker. It's going to be complete around the 19 yard line for a short gain. That's going to bring up third down now with exactly 11 minutes in the first quarter. Uh, Walker, the number one receiver there, Specia, as you see him, when he took the snap, uh, he immediately looked over to Todd Walker and he had enough room to make the catch and get him about a few yards away. Third down and it looks about six or seven here is a lot better than a third down and ten. Austin Quinney in the game now, wide receiver for Incarnate Word. So is Donald Gies, a sophomore, six foot, 200 pound fullback. Gies in the backfield, man in motion. That's going to be Robert Williams, and he's going to hand off to Gies up the middle, and he's going to break about the uh, 24 yard line. Very close to a first down there. Good job opening up the hole by the Cardinals. Uh, linebacker was able to collapse on the running back, and this is going to be a about a nose hair worth of distance here between here and the first down line, and uh, it looks like they are going to move it. So a very good play call by the Cardinals. So, so you get the first first down of their entire season and of their entire program. Specia now in shotgun. We got three receivers, one in the slot, one backfield. Here comes the snap. Fisher drops back, throws to Robert Williams. That ball nearly picked off by the Rams by number 38, cornerback Luis Moreno on the play. A uh, little high throw by Specia there. Had thrown to a short wide, short wide receiver and just couldn't get it right on. And the Luis Moreno able to knock it down. Almost got the pick there, but not quite. So a break for the Cardinals. 
Cardinals are going to bring up a second down. Second and 10 now. Ball on the Cardinals 24 yard line. Cards down 0 3. 10 11 remaining in the first quarter. Some kind of penalty on the play, but it's declined, so it'll make it a second down and 10 Cardinals, on the 24 yard line. Cardinals are holding their own early. Uh, one of the concerns was they haven't played in a while. They're playing a very experienced team. The Rams season has already started. They're three and oh. Specia and quarterback. We have uh, three receivers here with tight end, one back. Uh, Gies is in motion. Here comes the snap and handoff up the middle to Trent Rios. He's got a little bit of running room after the 30, 35, almost to the 40 yard line. That's the speed of Trent Rios from Smith and Valley. Looks like a uh, number 23 for um, Monterey Tech on the tackle. Uh, Rios able to get around the corner and show him off a little bit of his speed there. He's also kind of like a pinball machine if he <laughs> get enough tackles out there. We're going to be hearing uh, Rios' name a lot here. So here we go, first and 10, ball on the 39, cards moving the ball. Uh, Specian, shotgun, three receivers, one in the slot, Rios to the left of him. And here comes the snap, a little low snap, looking for Rios out in the flat past the 40, 45, a little shift move, and he crawls to about the 48-yard uh, line. They'll probably give him the 47, uh, close to another first down. Specia, uh, no one covered the running back on the play, Rios, and he able to get a, about a nine-yard gain on the play. So, and it'll, so it'll be a second down and one on this next play. And out comes Todd Walker. Uh, he's going to take a breather. Todd Walker, uh, Troy talked to him about, uh, talked about him a little while ago. He's from Texas Tech, transferred, played behind Michael Crabtree. It's 920, second and one, ball on the 48-yard line. We've got Trent Reels in the backfield. Specia giving some last-minute instructions to his fullback, Gies. We have two receivers now, and a little bit more confusion maybe on the field. Now the offensive set, Specia in shotgun. We have uh, Rios in the backfield, Gies in motion now. Here comes the snap, and it's going to be a quarterback keeper, a lot of room, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 25, touchdown Cardinals! Why is Specia on a quarterback keeper to put the cards up six to three? What a fake by Thomas Specia and uh, Andrew Borrego on the play, but he fooled me. I thought Rios had the ball, and he just had a mile of run on that play. He could have ran about 100 more yards before any Monterey Tech player grabbed him. And I am pumped, and that's going to fire up this crowd as the Cardinals take the first lead, first touchdown, put it in the book by the Cardinal program. It's going to be by Thomas Specia. I tell you what, Troy. We call Reels his number, Reels, 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 all about all of a sudden quarterback keeper. We have nothing but real estate for the Cardinals. First touchdown, 6-3, Cardinals lead over the Monterey Tech Rams. We have a penalty on the play, and it looks like it was against the Rams also. Touchdown's good. My heart. The crowd just ignited on that play from the quarterback keeper. Thomas Specia, 9-10, remaining in the first quarter. Uh, cards up 6-3. Let's see if we can go to uh, Marisa Calderon on the sideline. Marisa? Yes, everybody is very, very excited right now. The first touchdown. And let me just tell you a little bit about the field right now. The whole field is surrounded by fans from all over the community. It's very, very excited. Everybody just stood up and had a great, great, great cheer. Thanks, Marisa. Uh, as uh, Marisa was uh, letting us know how the atmosphere outside this press box was, Dr. Agnesi walking around, shaking everybody's hands right in front of our press box. Uh, and the Cardinals are just moments away from uh, making this a 7-3 game. And the extra point is good. 7-3 cards. Uh, just a great fake by Specia on the last play. Trent Rios thought he had the ball. They tackled him immediately, but Specia able to get around the corner and just ran it and ran it and showing off his speed as a quarterback. I tell you what, Troy, uh, I give this Cardinal, I give Coach Mike Santiago uh, a lot of credit here today, getting these young kids ready to come play the ball, uh, play the game. Uh, uh, I thought for sure that uh, these kids were going to be nervous and it was going to uh, at least take a quarter or maybe two to shake off the nerves, shake off the dust. 
uh, shake off the rust. They haven't played in a while. They're a very young team here at Incarnate Word. They're made up of freshmen and red shirt freshmen and sophomores. And uh, after a big 60 yard opening kickoff from Monterey Tech, uh, the Cardinals answered back. Well, I thought they were going to be in trouble after that kickoff, but they were able to settle down and uh, keep the uh, Borregos out of the end zone there. And uh, that just pumped them up. And on the offensive side of the ball, able to get a couple first downs and then had that one big play by Specia on the quarterback keeper. So now we uh, Cardinals are set to kick off. And uh, because of the penalty, we're going to kick off from the 45-yard line here at the 9-10 minute uh, mark in the first quarter. Set to receive is going to be number 21, Mario Castellan, the running back for the uh, Monterey Tech Rams. And I believe it's going to be number 32 in the opposite side of the end zone, uh, Carlos Monito. And we are moments away from uh, Cardinals kicking off here at Benson Field. I don't think they're going to have the same success on the kickoff as they did last time. This one might end up being a touchback due to that field position, and it looks like that's what it's going to exactly be. And that was uh, Thomas Rebold, sophomore, 5'10", 175 pounds with the kickoff, and it's going to be a touchback now. So Monterey Tech is going to start from the 20-yard uh, line. Troy, what do you think? Uh, Monterey eager to answer back here on this series, obviously. Well, they're playing in a hostile environment here. Uh, Everyone from UIW, you just see, is surrounded by Cardinals fans, a little section. Even though they did bring their own uh, group of fans up here, it's just loud stadium, and you got Greek life over there. Everyone's just pumped up for this first game. I'll tell you what, this first game, this Monterey Tech crowd uh, and athletes and family are a great group of people. Uh, I was out there during the tailgate, uh, having fun over there at the uh, Carnival World tailgates, and the Monterey Tech uh, went through a little parade, and uh, it, it was all in good fun. It really was. Great group of kids. Uh, they seemed really nice, uh, along with their family and fans. I'm glad to have them here over here at Benson Field, and it's, uh, it's great to be playing against them. They're five-time uh, champions in uh, Mexico City consecutive titles, and they're 3-0 on their season. Their season has already started. Well, Coach Mike Santiago on the play call there, it seemed like. He was the one that was looking. It was between him and a uh, offensive coordinator for the Cardinals, uh, Jim Marshall. Both uh, talking about the run and gun coming into the season here, and uh, you saw a bit of a run there on the quarterback keeper on the quarterback choice play. So here we go. Uh, the uh Rams with the ball, first and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. Martinez under center. He's going to hand off to Castan, who goes up the middle, up, up to the. Uh, 25, 26 yard line for a small gain. Able to get a little bit of daylight from that uh, big uh, Ram offensive line and gets about five, six yards on the play and it'll be about a second down and four. Ball's gonna be on the 26 yard line, 849, clock's ticking first quarter, cards up seven to three. I'm Jaime Valdez, if you're just tuning in, a student broadcaster along with Troy Miles, he's our sports director for KUIW. This is a student run uh, internet radio station. Martinez under center, gonna hand off again to Costan, who gets a few more yards close to the first down and I'm gonna say he's got it. That's gonna bring up a first down now for the Rams, moving the chains here, uh, almost halfway point in the first quarter. Well, uh, Rams right now running the ball extremely well on this drive. Able to open up a hole and just getting uh, five, six yards at a time. And, uh, and if the Cardinals don't uh, start clamping down on that, they'll run that play all day and they'll have no way to stop them. Rams moving from left to right on your radio dial in their all white jerseys. Cardinals in their all black jerseys and black helmets. And here we go, Martinez under center, first and 10, ball on the 33 yard line. Eight minutes to go in the first quarter, cards up seven to three. Martinez drops back, looks left, throws, has a man, and it's picked off by Carter Ward. It's gonna be a Carter Ward's ball around the 42 yard line. A uh, little bit of fight on the play there. Number 19 for the Cardinals. James Perez, the backup corner, just shoots in there, reads the quarterback's eyes, and just beats the receiver to the ball, and just gets it. I tell you what, great he was play, perfect timing. I mean, he just had to time that ball perfect at the 7:58. Now, first turner over for the game, and is going in Cardinal World's way. Here comes the offense onto the field. Specia and his crew. That's going to be Specia and Trent Reels in the backfield. Todd Walker back on the 
backfield. He's going to be lined up uh, as receiver. So we got Specia, Shotgun, Trent Reels uh, in the backfield. We got three wide receivers, one in the slot, 7.58 remaining in the first quarter. And here comes the snap. And Specia looks, little pump fake, and he goes deep. He's got a man open, and it's caught at the five yard line. Touchdown, Cardinals! Wow, what a great play by Specia, able to find the open man in the right past that Rams secondary. And another touchdown for Specia. He has two touchdowns, one rushing, one passing on the day. So merging as one of the Cardinal stars early on. Number 83 for the Cardinals, able to get the touchdown pass there. And uh, just a beautiful play, able to find the open man and just gets it, beats the secondary pretty easily. So 7.51 remaining cards up, 13 to three, and the extra point is good. 14 to three, Cardinals way. Wow, let's go to the field, Marisa. Go ahead and describe this uh, electrifying crowd we have here today. Everybody is very, very excited right now. Thanks, Mandisa. Oh, that was Kenneth Pryor on the reception uh, to make the cards 14 to three prior with the, the reception from Specia. And I tell you what, Troy, I thought this was gonna be uh, happen. I thought this game was gonna fold exactly the opposite way. What about you? Well, I thing you have to understand about the Cardinals is they're playing on emotions right now. They're playing at home and Cardinal and Monterey Tech just came from a long bus ride. So and it's just all these factors that you have to calculate into a game. But there is still a lot of football to play, 751. So don't count the Borregos out just yet. I'll but tell you what, I love I am this very, play, exci very excited for this Cardinals team. And this is why you love Cardinals fo or college football. It is just a, an exciting experience. I'll tell you what, I love this play calling. After you get a turnover, what do you do? You check the end zone for a touchdown. They just, they did just that. Cards up 14 to three. And uh, as Coach Santiago talked about after the last scrimmage, uh, we talked about, he talked about Monterey Tech being in the stands at this last scrimmage last Friday. And we'll get right back to that as Monterey Tech has another fumble and they recover the ball at the 35 yard line. And uh, motion starting to, the flare on the field. Monterey Tech on the suing kickoff fumbled around the 30 yard line, recovered at the 35 yard line, 36 yard line. Monterey Tech's gonna have the ball now with 7.42. As I was saying earlier, uh, Coach Santiago wasn't calling a lot of plays that last game because Monterey Tech was in the stands and uh, he's pulling out the playbook tonight. Uh, looks like the returner just got upended on the play and just couldn't hold on to the ball. So, but luckily for them, they managed to recover it at the 35 yard line. Martinez under center, we got three receivers, one in the slot, he's gonna hand off up the middle to Castan and he's gonna get stopped around the 47 yard line for a pickup. 7.35 remaining in the first quarter, cards up 14 to three. Cardinals are still leaving that hole open, trying, they need to find a way to close it, otherwise they're gonna keep running the ball. Luckily on the last, uh, looked like uh, Borregos were gonna have another uh, on the last drive, but able to get the pick. So let's see if they can cause another turnover. So that's gonna pick up, uh, be a pickup of seven yards. It's gonna be second and three, ball on the 43 yard line. Clock ticking, we're still in the first quarter of Benson Field. Uh, Martinez under center for the Rams. We got three receivers. He's gonna hand off to Costan again. He's gonna try go around the right corner and nothing there. They're gonna be stopped maybe for a short gain. Look the, about to be around the 45 yard line. Let's see where the, the uh, Ref calls it. Tyler Fields on the tackle, able to get some penetration and uh, stop him about for a, but I uh, just couldn't quite bring him down early on. And we'll see where they're gonna spot this. I tell you what, uh, I'm looking out this looking press box. Looking just short of first down. Excuse me, so I'm looking out this press box and I don't see an empty seat in the house. What about you? Oh no, and there's crowds all around the field. Uh, tailgate, I don't even see an empty space <laughs> where there aren't any seats I and mean, there is no emptiness in this I think those tailgaters right across from us have the 
best spot in the house. What do you think? Well, they got a grill over there, <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's always fun. It's going to be first and ten. They did call it a first down ball on the 46-yard line. 6.57 remaining in the first quarter. Martinez under center. He's going to pitch the ball out to uh, Kalsan again. He's going to almost get to the, about the 49-yard line. A short pickup, if any. Uh, Cardinals able to collapse on that a uh, little bit of an open hole, a little bit of daylight, but able to uh, collapse and bring him for a minimal three-yard gain. In just a few moments, let's go to uh, Marisa to, so she can tell us how this Cardinal sideline is. Uh, they look all pumped up down there, Marisa. That's right. They are very pumped up. You can tell that their adrenaline is rushing, and the coaches are pumping them up extremely. These guys are in it to win it. <laughs> Thanks, Marisa. 621, Martinez under center. It's going to be second down and seven ball on the 49-yard line. And Martinez is going to hand up up the middle out to the... Uh, Call it the 44-yard line of Incarnate Word. Looks like he's going to pick up the first down. And uh, looks like the Rams are about three, four straight run uh, plays. Need to get be careful here. They had a wide open receiver in the first series to come to uh, on a third and 29 and got a first down. So it looks like they're going to start to set up the play action and take a shot downfield. They're down 14 to three with 554 remaining. I don't think they're used to being uh, down like that. Well, uh, they're gonna keep running the ball until the Cardinals can prove that they can stop them. Uh, looks like there is a problem in the secondary on the first drive, but uh, after the pick, they kind of strayed away from the right. passing game here and just sticking to the running game right now. So Cardinals need to find a way to clog up those holes. So that's going to bring up second and five now. Ball on the Cardinal 38. And the Rams have put a decent drive here together, moving the ball. 523 remaining in the first quarter. Down 14 to 3. The Rams from Monterey. And we're going to have Martinez now in under center. We have man in motion for the Rams. Little play action. There's a flag on the field. And the court, Martinez is going to be sacked around the 48 yard line. There is a flag. And uh Looks like it's going to be on Monterey. Chaz Poliska on the sack there, blitzing safety. And we're going to see what the call is and see if this uh, sack stands up. But uh, just a uh, punch uh, punk straight in there and just able to get the sack for a loss. And there's a Monterey Tech player uh, showing face mask on defense. And that is incorrect. It's going to be on the offense for illegal shift. And we're still. And we're going to have two penalties on the play now. It's going to be holding on the defense as well. And but uh, it's going to offset, and Cardinals still able to get the sack there. And as you see, number seven on the play, just able to find a hole and just spear right in there, and uh, able to get the sack. And I think that's uh, Cardinals' first ever sack. So we're going to... So history being made today. We're at the 5.06 mark of the first quarter. Cards up 14-3. to three. Here at Benson Field. And here come the uh, Rams out of the huddle. We're going to have Martinez under center. We have one wide receiver, two backs. Uh, they've been consecutive uh, run plays here on this series for the Rams. And... Uh, getting a lot of production out of it. Here comes the snap out to Costan again. And he's got some running room. He breaks a couple of tackles out to the 20, down to almost about the 15 yard line. And like you tr said before, Troy, they're going to keep on running until the Cardinals find an answer. Well, last couple of passing plays, they had an interception and a sack. So I don't see any reason why they would go back to passing until the Cardinals can prove that they can stop the run. As soon as Cardinals clog up those holes, they'll go back to passing and maybe. Uh, get some more interceptions for the Cardinals, hopefully. So that's going to be uh, 433 remaining now. Uh, ball on the 17-yard uh, line. And they're going to hand off to Costan again. And he's breaking tackles up about the 8-yard line for the Rams. And uh, the Cardinals really struggling on their run, uh, run defense. Just uh, not offensive lines controlling the line of scrimmage on the run plays, and then uh, the running back for the Borrego is just able to bust in there and get a few yards, and just like a human pinball machine out there. So here and we go. It's going to be uh, ball on the 12-yard line. 4-12 remaining in the first quarter. Cards up 
14 to three. Martinez under center for the Rams. Got a two back set. Here comes the snap, gonna hand off to Costana again around the right corner and he's gonna be knocked down. Excuse me, that's gonna be number eight. Looks like for the Rams and he's gonna limp off the field. Cardinals right now uh, able to get a little bit of pressure on the running back there. Not able to waltz right into the end zone. Just need to clog up those holes though. Just They just keep allowing those running game. And now, especially on first down, first down they're getting a few yards and it's making second, da second down and third downs easier. So we're here on second down now and here comes the snap out to Castellan and he's gonna be stopped for a loss by this Cardinal defense and things started to tighten up on the defensive end here for Incarnate Word as we saw in the first series after that 60 yard uh, punt return, field, uh, kickoff return, excuse me, uh, in the red zone, the Cardinals did start to tighten down. Well, so far today, it's just been, uh, been allowing a f few yard plays. Uh, got to stop them in the red zone on the first drive, got the interception, and now they're uh, looking pretty good on the red zone here as it'll be a third down about four. So Cardinals looking like a good red zone defense. Man in motion, Martinez under center. Here comes the snap and the handoff up the middle and the Cards gang tackle right around the uh, two yard line. That's gonna bring up a fourth down now. And here comes the big question uh, for Monterey Tech who's down 14 to three. Are they gonna opt for a field goal as they did earlier or are they gonna go for uh, the touchdown? And Ball's gonna be placed on the one yard line it's going to be fourth and goal now, and uh, decision time for Monterey Tech. Well, Cardinals on the last play, able to get some penetration. Number seven got pretty well in there, able to make the running back go right up the middle instead of cutting outside, thus causing the gain tackle up the middle, and they'll be about a yard short of the end zone here, and they'll call a timeout to think of strategy. We'll see if they'll go for it or kick the field goal. And while they do that, we're going to go ahead and talk about our broadcast schedule coming up September 5th. We're going to be at Arkansas Tech. That's a 6 p.m. kickoff. KUIW.org will have the call over there. I believe we're leaving uh, Friday morning. Troy, has that been uh, written in stone yet? Uh, not written in stone, but uh, that seems to be the general consensus. Monday morning, or excuse me, Friday morning. So yeah, we'll be heading off to Arkansas to play Arkansas Tech. Have some fun in Arkansas, huh, huh? Have you ever been to Arkansas? I have never been to Arkansas or Oklahoma. We're going to both those places this year, so pretty exciting. Well, I think we're in for a real treat because I haven't been to any of those places either. So at the 223 mark, it's going to be fourth and goal if you're just tuning in for Monterey Tech. They're down 14-3 to three to Incarnate Word. And here comes the uh, Monterey Tech offense and uh, showing all signs. They're going to line up now. Uh, to go for it on fourth and goal and everyone is on their feet here in the stadiums and as we here comes a snap and waiting for a call haven't seen the end zone signal for the touchdown yet and one of the refs yes it is going to be a touchdown for monterey tech uh going to be 14 to 9 now 219 uh remaining on that like play there on that, excuse me, on that play there, you kind of just knew we were going straight up the middle the way the formation of the offense was, and it's kind of like, hey, we're going up the middle. Let's see if you can stop us. They've been uh, doing a great job, Cardinal defense, in the red zone. Uh, they did a great job on the first series. It was just a direct snap to the tailback, and he just able to get underneath the offensive line and just push his way in for the touchdown, and that will, after the extra point, it will make it 14-10. Cardinals still up and they'll get the ball back. Let's see if they can put another good drive together. And with that, let's go to the sideline reporter, Marisa Cadoron. She's a student here at Incarnate Word, senior student here at Incarnate Word. Marisa, what do you think of so far of the game? The game is really, really good game and now it's getting even more interesting. These guys are really good guys and they're all, <laughs> they are all pumped. The Cardinals are pumped and they are gonna stop them. I know it, the coaches are, no, the coaches are really, really getting to them and they are, they're ready now, come on. 
Thanks, Marisa. Thank you. If you're just tuning in, I'm Jaime Valdez. Welcome to our non-biased play call here <laughs> from KUIW.org. It's 219 remaining, uh, 14 to 10, Incarnate Word. It's been one exciting first quarter. Never in my wildest dreams that I think we'd be up 14 to 10 with 219 uh, remaining in the first quarter, Troy. A lot of scoring going on in the first quarter. Very surprising. I thought it would be more of a defensive run it out kind of thing. But uh, Cardinals able to get some big plays on the offensive side and defensive side of the ball. So back to receive for Incarnate Word, number six, Derek Walls. Freshman, 5'8", 152 pounds. And number 22 from Smith and Valley, Trent Rios. And Walls is going to receive the 10-yard line up to the 15, 20. He's going to dodge a tackle, and he's going to make it out to about the 23-yard line. Decent return on the play. Gets about a 23, 24-yard gain on the return. Good blocking by the Cardinals. Good coverage by the Rams, and that's what happens when an immovable object meets an unstoppable force. It's just an okay thing. So momentum-wise, you're going to want to move the ball here, uh, at least get three on this series. Uh, maybe somewhat momentum, maybe shift a little bit back to Monterey on that last touchdown. Let's see what the cards can do here. Specia shotgun, three receivers, one in the slot. Trent Reels in the backfield for Incarnate Word. It's going to be first down and 10 at the 23-yard line at Benson Field. Here comes the snap, and Specia throws out to uh, Todd Walker, and he's going to be uh, tackled around the 25-yard line for a short gain. Todd Walker, just a little quick curl there. Specia looking there. First, uh, tell that's his first receiver. Gets the snap and immediately looks to Todd Walker and able to get a few yards on the play. But a uh, good job by the Rams to tackle quickly and not let him get any yards after the catch. That's going to bring up second and six. Ball on the 27. Speech and shotgun. Three receivers. One in the slot. Reels in the backfield. And here comes the snap. And Speech is looking to his right. He goes throws up the middle to his tight end. Number 80 for Incarnate Word. Uh, Andrew Mosio. Red shirt freshman. 6'5", 214 pounds. So uh, Card starting a little series here with 128 remaining in the first quarter after a uh, Rams uh, touchdown. So it's going to be first and 10, ball on the 36. Uh, Specia having plenty of time in the pocket to look over his uh, receivers, and as long as the Cardinal offensive line gives him that much time, he'll make the passes all day long. So we got Specia and shotgun, three receivers lined up to the right, one back, and here comes the snap. They're going to hand off up to Rios. He's going to get to the 40, 45, and up to the... Uh, 47 yard line so they loaded the right side with receivers handed off to reels up to the left great play call by um, Mike Santiago coach for Incarnate Word we're under a minute to play in the first quarter now for Incarnate Word uh, Rios able to get a few get through the offensive line there, able to get a 10, 11 yard gain on the play, just a, never keeps his, never lets his legs stop moving on that play. First and 10, Specia, shotgun, same formation, quarterback keeper, and he's gonna be stopped at the 45 yard line for a two yard loss. Uh, not sure if that was a broken design play for Specia to run, but uh, here came the pressure and he had to run, uh, got stopped for a loss. Well, the uh, Rams just uh, able to recognize the play, able to get in the backfield really, rarely or pretty quickly there and uh speech that just had nowhere to go after the effect they hand off to rios so we got second 11 uh under 10 seconds of play in the first quarter ball on the 45 yard line we got specia and shotgun three receivers one in the slot rios lined up to the right of specia and, and he's going to take a timeout. didn't like his the what he saw for the uh defense excuse me it's going to be the end of the first quarter uh, he just let the play clock run out. That's going to do it. The first quarter ever here at Benson Field. Cards up 14 and 10. Troy, what can you say about the first quarter? Well, Cardinals show me major, major uh, good plays on both sides of the ball. Interception by uh, James Perez caused a lot of momentum. Thomas Specia, the bit, two touchdowns in the first half, one passing, one rushing, able to just show his speed and show his accuracy on the on the play, Rios, a couple carries, uh, all forward, all forward moving, able to bounce off, so just good play all around. And the only sack was uh, Chavis Pol Poliska. 
I believe that's how you say it. Gets the sack of the safety, the left safety. Not too many of them get sacks, but uh, he was sent on the blinst and had anyone blocked and able to get the sack. So those are the key plays for the on the, in the first quarter for the Cardinals. So here we go, second quarter getting underway. Cards in all black and the uh, Monterey Tech Borregos, the Rams in all white. Getting ready to kick off the uh, second quarter. Cardinals moving from left to right on your radio dial. We got Thomas Specia, starting quarterback for Incarnate Word. Uh, already scored twice today, one on a quarterback keeper and one to a pass for a pass uh, up the middle for his second touchdown. We got Specia and shotgun, two receivers, a man in motion. Uh, two backs, here comes the snap. Specia looks to his left, he's got some time, and he overthrows Trent Reels over there on the left flat, and that's gonna bring up a third and 11. Well, Specia today either has a perfect pass, wide open, he had pretty much, pretty good amount of time on the play, just defender right there, he had to throw over him and couldn't quite get it to Rios, who is a, not a very tall man, he's about my size, 5'8", so not your stereotypical wide receiver there but he is the running back, so we'll let him get away with it. So ball on the 45-yard line now, third and 11, 14.56 in the second quarter. This one just getting underway. Cardinals up 14 to 10. Uh, Specia and shotgun, three receivers, one in the slot. Rios in the backfield, four incarnate words. Specia drops back. Here comes the pressure. We got three uh, Monterey Tech Rams all over Specia, and he gets the ball off to uh, his tight end, Gies, at the 50-yard line. Not enough for the first down. There is a flag, though, and nothing but pressure on Thomas Specia, and he got that ball off to his tight end, uh, Geese, at the 50-yard line. There is a flag now on the play, and it looks like it's going to be against uh, Incarnate Word, and it is going to be against Incarnate Word, looks like, as the Rams are signaling to decline. Specia has shown some of his speed on the play. Had a lot of pressure up the middle, but able to roll out and... Uh, avoid the sack, but. All right. So, so uh, no flag on the play for the Cardinals, and I'll make it by fourth and around five. And it looks like they're gonna choose the punt on the play. Looking at, as the play broke down though, just able to, Specia just able to avoid the pressure and find a receiver. So able to get a few yards on the play, just not enough for a first down. Rebold to punt for Incarnate Word and Mario Castan to receive. Here comes the punt. And short kick is going to go right out of bounds. And it's going to be out of bounds around the uh, 27, 28 yard line. Looks like a little bit of Excuse clipping. Excuse me, they're going to call it to the 32, and there was a, a, a big clipping right in front of us uh, <laughs> uh, that was not called. I don't know uh, why that wasn't called, maybe it's because it was already out of bounds and the play was over, but if the play was over, then wouldn't that be a late hit? So I don't I don't know what the refs are, just didn't see it, or they just, uh, they know something I don't know, which is unlikely, but all possible. So the ball's gonna be on the 32 yard line, it's first and 10, uh, Monterey Tech, they're down 14 to 10. 14:27. the second quarter is just getting started. We're here live at Benson Field, you're listening to KUIW.org. We got some great advertising packages uh, at really good costs. If you're interested, give us a call at 805 KUIW. Want to say special thanks to Spro uh, ProSportsTechnologies.com. Of course, the Island Shrimp House, where I have a lot of coworkers and friends. Hope they're doing okay with me. It is Saturday night. It's probably busy, and I'm not there, so uh, I'm a little worried about those guys over there at Sea Island. So here we go. Uh, Rams with the ball, first and ten. Uh, this defense really needs to show up right now. Well, uh, Cardinals defense, the uh, untraditional 4-2-5 package, so uh, that is going to leave them a little exposed to the run, so not at all surprised why they're having trouble with it with only two linebackers. If their defensive line able to get a push and, can, and the defensive line can control the line of scrimmage, they'll stop that run and uh, able to get better field position for their offense if they can stop the run. Jorge Martinez, quarterback for the Rams, gonna take the snap, handoff up the middle, out to number eight, out to the 40, 45 yard line for uh, the Monterey Tech Rams. Cardinals still 
Still not getting any penetration on those running plays. Uh, the Borrego's running, Rams running back able to get around the out, go up the middle and then go outside, able to get up, go out of bounds for about an 11 yard gain. And that was Alanis on the carry. It's gonna bring up a first down now, ball on the 44. And uh, Cards haven't found an answer yet to the running game of Monterey Tech. Martinez under center. One back, we got three receivers, one in the slot. Here comes a snap and a handoff to Alanis up the middle. Excuse me, that's gonna be Costan. He's gonna pick up a few, almost to the 50 yard line. Cardinals uh, j defensive line just not getting a good jump on the ball after the snap. Offensive line moving a good foot before they even uh, start, before the defensive line even starts moving. So maybe that's part of the reason why they're not getting any penetration at all on those running plays. So here we go. It's going to be second down and six. Ball on the 48. 13-24 to play. Martinez under center. Got one receiver, two backs. And uh, Martinez looks like he's uh, changing up the play a little. Here comes the snap. Out to Costan around the left tackle. He's got some room. He's out to the 30, 25, 20. Can't bring him down to the 10-yard line. Finally get him down at the 5-yard line. And oh, there's a word. flag on the play there. Look, maybe some holding or a face, Max. We'll, s we'll get the call for you in just a minute. And that was number 22 on the run, Khan, for the uh, Monterey Tech. We're going to wait for the play call, for the penalty, excuse me. Looked like uh, that's more their power kind of back on the play, and that's why he probably wasn't able to outrun everybody. And it's going against Monterey Tech, a block in the back, and that's going to nullify that 40-yard run by Khan from Monterey Tech. It's just going to move him back uh, 10 yards on the play, roughly, because it was uh, further down the field. And uh, just a great, great block and set up by the Borregos, and then uh, number 22, the running back, able to get through the line, break a couple tackles. And, but uh, the uh, block in the back will send them back just a tad on the play. So Monterey take at the 23 yard line, first and 10. Ball off to Atlantis, gets around the corner. He's gonna be almost stopped. He's gonna keep on running out to the, about the 12 yard line of Incarnate Word for a great pickup. 12.43 remaining in the second quarter. Uh, great broken tackles by the Borregos on the play. Uh, Cardinal defense just not able to wrap up on the running back there. And uh, just a shoe sharing tackle keeps him from running it all the way to the end zone. So the Cards can get another first down. It's first and 10 ball to 12 yard line. Martinez under center. They're going to hand off to number 32. He's going to get around the right corner. And he's going to be stopped around the second, I mean, the two yard line of Incarnate Word. And the uh, Monterey Tech really moving the ball, really found an answer here, uh, really found a weakness on this Incarnate Word defense. Well, haven't run one pass play this entire drive. And uh, the Cardinals, I don't know if they just don't know they're running it and just playing the pass anyway, or they're just getting beat on the offensive line that badly. But uh, it's just uh, Cardinals need to find an answer for this running game and fast. Well, that was number 32, Chavez, and uh, Monterey Tech is stacked with running backs. Looks like every other play, they got a new back in, and that's going to be number 21. They're starting running back who's going to get dropped for a loss, it looks like. That was number 21, uh, Mario Castellan. That's their starting uh, running back. In this series alone, uh, Alanis, Khan, Chavez, and Castellan Four different running backs have been involved in this series for positive yardage. Fresher legs out there. I guess that's why uh, they're not getting tired after all these running plays. Just keep running different running backs out there. And uh, your running back never gets tired. Right. Able to, they drove in the entire length of, most of the length of the field here just on the running play. So it's going to be first and goal now. Martinez under center. It's going to hand off to Khan up the middle. Touchdown. Monterey Tech. They will signal touchdown on the play. Uh, second effort got hit right up the line of scrimmage, but second effort by the Borregos able to 
bring in the touchdown for him. And that will make the score 16-14, and the extra point will make it 17-14. For the second time this game, Cardinals are going to be down. They were down 0-3 in the first quarter. And after the uh, point after attempt, which is good, they're going to be down 14-17 now. Early in the second, they had a 14-3 lead in the first quarter, and the Rams have just found a weakness in this Carter Word uh, defense, and that's the run game. And not only that, the uh, Monterey Tech has a loaded backfield. Well, uh, defense, uh, you can't just have a good secondary. You can't just have a good uh, run-stopping attack. Defense is like the most comrade. Everything has to work together. Otherwise, they'll just use that against you. Excuse me. Let's go, <coughs> Let's go ahead and go down to the field. We're going to go down to the field to Maritza. Uh, how's it going down there? It's going good. You know, the band's playing. Everybody's still really, really excited. You know, we may be down by a little bit, but we're going to get up there. Thanks, Marisa. Always the positive outlook by Marisa. you got to have a positive attitude in your things. Hey, guess what? This is the first incarnate word football game here at Benson Field. It's 11:36. It's 14 to 17. I'm Jaime Valdez with Troy Miles. This is KIW.org. We're getting set to kick off here after uh, the uh, Monterey Tech touchdown. And in the backfield, we're going to have, it looks like it's going to be Walls and Trent Reels set to receive for Incarnate Word. And here comes the kick. And Walls will receive around the one yard line. He's going to go past the 10, 15, a little uh, shuffle feet around the 20 yard line. And it's going to be Cardinal Ball around the 20 yard line. Cardinals uh, just haven't had any great success on the spe kick returning today or, or defending the kick return so far today. So that's going to be stuff to look forward into next week. Uh, offense only been stopped once so far. Let's see if they can uh, capitalize again and try to take the lead back here in the first half. We have about uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds, so still plenty of football to play. It is no one's game as the Rams are only up by three. Not a football to play. The feel-good stories that started two years ago have come to an end. We're here playing football here in the second quarter, 11:30 remaining, 14 to 17. Card down by three. They had a first quarter lead of 14 to three. We're just tuning in. Uh, the uh, Rams have answered back two consecutive touchdowns, 17 to 14. The Cardinal defense can't find an answer right now for the uh, Monterey Tech running game. They have four different running backs they're throwing at you. Number eight, Alanis, 22, Con, 32, Chavez, 22. Castellan, and we're going to have a media timeout right now. Well, Decoy Moyer, the defensive team captain, needs to get his guys together, him and the defensive coordinators, and try to find a way to stop that those uh, Rams from running it right up the middle because that's all they're doing to them right now. Not one pass play on the last drive by the Rams, so maybe they st uh, get away from the coverage so much and uh, try to just pound it try to pound up the middle and make sure they don't make sure they don't get any daylight and here come the Cardinals offense Spisha at quarterback we have three receivers one in the slot Trent Reels running back here comes the snap for incarnate word and up to Reels up the middle he's gonna get tripped up around the 25 yard line for a short gain he's gonna bring up a second down now for incarnate word Looking at the differences in offenses, I mean, Cardinals have not taken one snap under center. And the Rams have just done all that almost all the time. So just very different offenses, very different defenses, as the Rams run a basic 4-3 package. Uh, the Cardinals run the 4-2-5 package. So very different uh, strategies coming into the game. Spieson, shotgun, reels in backfield. We got two receivers and quarterback keeper on Specia. He's going to fight his way to the 30-yard line. Should be good enough for a first down now. 10:40 remaining in the first quarter. Well, Specia, 6'3", 216-pound junior, uh, actually transferred from a junior college. 
uh, to come play for the Cardinal football. Just does does not say does not say no on those carries. <laughs> just tucks his head down and just bulldozes his way through. And uh, showing his uh, speed on every time he runs the ball. So it's going to be first down and 10 ball on the 31-yard line. Specia quarterback, and that's going to be Gies in motion. Two receivers and reels with the handoff up the middle. Rounds out to the 30-yard line, cuts the corner, and gets stopped around the 32-yard line. Well, if you notice, uh, the first tackle there almost never brings Rios down. He's just always turning, tries to stay low to the, stays low, t stays low to the ground, and uh, makes it harder for defensive defensive players to tackle him. And it'll be a second and about eight. Short pickup of two yards, second and eight ball on the 33-yard line for Incarnate Word. Uh, 9.45 remaining, cards down by 3, 17 to 14 to the Rams. We've got two receivers, Rio still in the backfield. Specia and shotgun, and you're going to see a lot of Specia and shotgun. I don't think he has any plays under center. Uh, not that I've ever seen, Troy. <laughs> uh, maybe once in scrimmage, I think I saw one play where he was under center. Option to Rios around to the 36-yard uh, line for about a 3-4 yard gain. It's going to bring up third down now. Third and uh, about five. Basic option uh, play there. Specia just decides to pitch the ball at Rios and able to get a few yards on the play, and it'll be third down and about two at the 38-yard line. Exactly nine minutes to play in the first quarter. Cardinals in their all-black jerseys, Rams in their white jerseys. Cards moving from left to right on your radio dial. And Specia in the center, under center for the first time. Little play action out to Gies, and he's going to get around to the 50-yard line. He's still on his feet. They bring him down to the uh, 47, 46-yard line. Great play. Just when we talk about we've never seen Specia under center. And, of course, right when you say that, he is going to go under center. They did pick up the first town. Great call by uh, Incarnate Word. Well, able to get it to the power guy, Donald Gies, the fullback, just goes out on a basic flat route, and then a uh, no one covered him, and then he had a few yards to few tackles, able to get the first down. So that's going to be going first down and 10. Cards moving the ball. Ball on the 47-yard line of Monterey Tech. 8.25 remaining in the half. And Specia doesn't like what he sees. He's going to call a timeout. Yeah. Well, good play calling uh, by the UIW football coaches on this drive, able to just pounding it down the field as opposed to the First couple of drives that ended in the end zone that ended on just like one huge play. But this time they're trying to grind it out and uh, take all, take a lot of that time off the clock maybe and keep the keep the ball out of the Rams' hands so they can't uh, use their running game against them, against the defense. And meanwhile, on the sideline, the uh, defensive team for Incarnate Word all uh, huddled up with uh, their defensive coach and getting a good uh, scolding or maybe a good uh, a lesson here at 822 in the second quarter. Uh, they've been there pretty much on one knee huddled up for the entire time this offense has been on the field. Uh, here comes the Carter, Carter Word out of the timeout. It's going to be first down and 10 ball on the 47 yard line, 822 remaining in the second quarter. Robert Williams now, a little speedster uh, for Carter Word is in the game. It's going to be Hearing, we hear him, we hear a lot of him in our scrimmage. Uh, Robert Williams, he's going to be lined up next to Todd Walker. Uh, Specia back at quarterback in shotgun. We got two backs. He's pointing out the defense. Here comes the uh, snap with the first and ten in Monterey Tech territory. Little low snap. Specia's going to little play action. He goes downfield to Williams. It's caught at the 25-yard line for Incarnate Word. If you were listening to our show yesterday, you heard Jaime talking about Robert Williams. Uh, I'm still not buying it after that catch, but uh, that was a great catch by Robert Williams, able to get on the inside of his defender. As Specia had plenty of time to throw, able to find his receiver, and Robert Williams just got on the inside of his defender and a big play for the Cardinals as that will give them some momentum on this drive. Not only today is Incarnate Word's first game, but today is the day when Troy Miles gave me some credit. It's going to be eight <laughs> minutes remaining in the second quarter, first and ten ball at the 24-yard line. Cards really moving the ball. Gee's in motion, Specia in uh, shotgun. He's going to dump off to Trent Rios. Looks like he wanted to throw the game, uh, throw the ball, excuse me. 
He's going to be get caught in the backfield. Now he's going to work his way up to the 25-yard line. I uh, wasn't sure if that was just a halfback pass and Rios tried to run it, or maybe it was just a right. straight halfback toss and he just uh, didn't have anywhere to run. But it looked like he would tuck the ball for a second. It looked like he was about to throw it, and then he just couldn't find anyone open, so he just decided to uh, tuck it and run it for no game. Austin Quinney now in the game. Wide receiver for Incarnate Word. Derek Walls also in the game now. So we have uh, Walker and Walls lined up on the left. Specia and Shotgun. Trent Reels in the backfield. It's going to be second and 10. Uh, and Specia, here comes some pressure. He's going to roll around the left corner out to the uh, 20. He's going to throw the ball, and it uh, looks like Robert Williams slipped. He was wide open, too, over there. Yeah, it looked like uh, Robert Williams. I, I don't know exactly what happened on the play there. Uh, Specia had a little bit of time in the pocket, and then a linebacker just kind of comes in and disrupts his timing, and then he had to roll out and uh, ended up throwing the ball. It looked like he was going to tuck it and run, and Robert Williams just slipped on the play at the very end. So a uh, bad break for the Cardinals there, as it'll be a third down and 10. So it's going to be 6.57 remaining in the second quarter, cards down 14 to 7 if you're just tuning in, but they're moving the ball. It's third and 10 now. Ball on the 25 yard line. Specia and shotgun. We got three receivers. We got Geese in motion. That's the tight end. We got Trent Rios in the backfield. Here comes the snap. And Specia's going to roll out to his left. He's got a man in the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals! In the left corner of the end zone at the 650 mark of the second quarter. Specia on the run on the play, able to throw a perfect pass to the end zone. The wide receiver didn't have a lot of room and just perfect pass by Specia on the run. You cannot throw the ball any better than that. Cardinals on a third and 10 take the lead now at the 650 mark, 20 to 17. And forgive me for not uh, seeing which receiver it was back in the end zone. Derek Walls on the reception. Derek Walls didn't ha had about a step on his defender there, but Specia with the perfect throw on the run will get the Cardinals the, vic uh, the lead going into the six minute, uh, s just below the seven minute mark of the first half. Specia to Derek Walls, 21-17, Cardinals up, and what a great play. Uh, if you're not streaming online and watching this video, this is one of the most amazing catches I've seen today uh, <laughs> with a defender right on him over the back. A uh, great catch in that back of the end zone in the left-hand corner. Well, uh, not a great job by the offensive line there uh, to give Specia time, but uh, Specia just showing his speed, showing his ability to throw on the move. And uh, great, pl great play by the freshman Derek Wall. It was only 5'8", 152, but he had a step on his defender, so a good speed wide receiver for the Cardinals. So the Cards now up 21-17. I mean, a uh, great first half here at Benson Field. Of course, everything's good when you're winning 21-17. Want to say a little special thanks to our uh, EJ, our former marketing director, who is uh, communicating with me via text. He's listening to our broadcast. EJ, congratulations on graduating. He was the uh, marketing director for KUIW.org, one of our uh, prosperous officers at the station. He has moved on now after he has... Uh, graduated last semester with us. So EJ, thanks for listening. 6.50 remaining, 21.17. Here's the kickoff. And let's see which back they put back there to receive. It looks like it's gonna be number 80, Khan, for the uh, Monterey Tech Rams. He's gonna be brought down around the 32 yard line. Uh, excuse me, it's gonna be number 30 for Monterey Tech uh, with the, with the uh, kickoff return. Uh, special teams for the Cardinals just not performing that well today as another kick kickoff goes past the 30-yard mark. So that's another thing to look forward as the season goes on, see if they can uh, tighten up those special teams. And the defense for the Cardinals will now take the field, and let's see if they can get a stoppage on that running game as they have not had an answer for it tonight. So it's 21-17, 6.44 remaining in the half, cards up. And Martinez under center for the uh, Monterey Tech Rams. We got two backs, two receivers. 
handoff to number 21, Castellan. And he's going to be uh, brought back for a loss, looks like. Well, it looked like he was gaining about a yard, but then he bounced off the tackle and went backwards a little. And then the Cardinals just came in and uh, swooped on him. So good job by the Cardinals to finally get some penetration on that line and able to send him back a yard. As we mentioned earlier, uh, their Monterey Tech season has already started. They're 3-0, and uh, blowing out their first three teams uh, that they played this season. Uh, Incarnate Word, this is their first game ever here at Benson Field. And here comes a snap from Martinez in a delayed handoff up the middle to uh, Castellan for a short gain. Looks like about the 32-yard uh, line. Looks like he got those two yards back. Should bring up a third down and 10. Uh, more running by the Rams here, just trying to pound the ball up the middle. Cardinals maybe made an adjustment in between the plays. They're actually able to get some penetration, not letting those running backs run wild on them. And uh, it'll make it a third down and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line, 534 uh, left. Five, excuse me, 534 minutes uh, remaining in the second quarter, and we're going to have a uh, timeout here on the field. Let's go to the field uh, to Marisa Cabron, our uh, student broadcaster, and see how it's going. Marisa? Yes, thank you. Well, we're certainly seeing a lot of specia action <laughs> going on in the field, and I'm actually here in front of the specia section. Did you hear that? He wow. finally wow. had the whole that, section of fans. I just to uh, y'all. Thanks, Marisa. I think the whole press back press box heard that. <laughs> If I hurt my ears, I think I lost some hearing on those screams. Uh, just a <coughs> little refresher. Uh, Specia has three touchdowns, accounting for all the points uh, Cardinals have today. Two, one rushing, two passing. So here we go, 534. Uh, Rams in shotgun. That's Martinez. We got five receivers, and they're going to go to the air. Got plenty of time to throw. He's going to go long up the middle. And uh, pass intended to number six for Monterey Tech. Not yeah. quite sure why the pass was so far off. He had no one in the area, and there is a cardinal injury on the play. Could not get the number, but a uh, cardinal's a uh, good job in coverage in the secondary. Only brought three on the play. Didn't get a lot of pressure, but able to cause the incomplete pass by the secondary. So, We're as the uh, crowd in the field has a. Uh, come to a mere silence here with 528 remaining. There's a Cardinal player injured on the field. He has not gotten up yet. We're at 528 in the second quarter. It's 21-17. So if you're just tuning in, I'm Jaime Valdez. It's been a very electric and exciting first half of Cardinal football. This is the first game ever here at Benson Field. And the Cardinal player down is number 52, Alan Ford. And uh, as you can hear the crowd in the background, if you can, uh, he has just gotten up and he is limping off for Incarnate Word. Didn't see what happened on the play. Uh, looked pretty clean as far as the play was going on. He might have just uh, turned the wrong way early on and might have messed up his knee. Doesn't look like he's too bad, even though he's hobbling a little off the field. But he's going to, he's probably going to, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him again today. So it's going to be a uh, fourth and ten with Monterey going to punt. And back to receive is going to be, looks like it's going to be Derek Walls back to receive around the 25-yard line. So uh, Cardinals offense is going to have another shot on the field before the half, Troy. Uh, all thanks to their defense. Defense uh, can help the offense as much as they want to. Seems like uh, able to stop the Rams finally and able to give them good field position after this kick return. Walls around the 40, 45, makes a cut down to the 50, 45 yard line, 30, 25, 20, and he's finally brought down around the 15 yard line for Carter Walls. That's Derek Walls, 21, 17, 507 remaining with a huge punt return. Great blocking by the Cardinal team. Finally able to get something going on special teams and they capitalize on it very, very well. It looks like they're gonna be around the 11 yard line. 
Great blocking, number six for the Cardinals on the return. And Derek Walls uh, with a nice cut in around the 50 yard line to give him uh, four yards. Looked like he was gonna get stopped. Ball's gonna be on the 11 yard line for Incarnate Word. It's gonna be first and 10, 5.07 remaining cards up, 21-17 threatening to score again. Here we go, we have Specia and Shotgun. We got two wide receivers, Trent Reels in the backfield. Uh, Geese and tight end, he's gonna be in motion. Here comes the snap, and the quarterback keeper, he shot up the middle, out to the five yard line! And he's gonna be brought down around the two yard line. Yep. And we'll see what they call that. It looks like he was stopped like right at the goal line. Man, he got ump ended right at the end there. But Specia, wow. Specia is like no other quarterback I've ever seen. He doesn't mind getting tackled. He just barrels his head in there. I think Specia loves getting tackled. I think that's. I think he's running so hard and fast. He's trying to. He's trying to tackle people with the ball. It's going to be a first and goal now. Under five minutes to play. 21-17. Let's see what the Cards do next. We have uh, Geese and Rios in the backfield. Another quarterback keep up the middle. Touchdown Cardinals. Specia, all the points by the Cardinals today have been via Specia. Now he has four touchdowns today. Two rushing, two passing, and he is just on fire, emerging as one of the big stars for the Cardinals on their opening day of their entire program. And uh, one day this will just be a question for the Cardinals as <laughs> you'll see this on a game show one day. What is the, who was the player of the game for the Cardinals on their opening day of their program? And it's gonna say Specia, Specia, Specia. So at the 442 mark, Cardinals back up 28-17 by 11 points a la uh, this great Cardinal offense. Uh, defense held up their part of the bargain after uh, having trouble with the run game. The entire first half uh, forced the uh, Monterey Tech Rams to punt with a great Derek Walls uh, punt return, put him in great field position at the 11 yard line and the Cards offense did the rest. Cardinals right now, uh, as we enter the nighttime and the lights come on on the football field, it's just uh, Cardinals have all taken the momentum here in the first half after losing it again after the first quarter, but able to take it back before the half's even over. A lot has happened, Jaime, and it's only been one half, it's already, 28-17, and we still have four and four minutes and 42 seconds to go left in the first half. So here we scoring. go. Got special teams, uh, kickoff and kick return teams on the field now. 4:42 remaining. Cards up. 21-17. Uh, still plenty of time here uh, for both teams to do something in this first half. Uh, never in my wildest dreams would I imagine a. Uh, score like this especially going our way in the first half not that i don't believe in our team but they're very young very inexperienced a lot of these players haven't seen the speed of the game and i tell you what they're adjusting just fine there's the kickoff for uh, incarnate word back to receive to receive around the uh, 20 yard line out to the 25 30 35 40 got some running room great blockers for castellan he's going to be stopped around the 48 yard line on the Incarnate Word side of the field. Number 43 on the tackle, Donald Geese with a pretty good tackle there. The fullback on the special teams play. But Cardinals still showing struggles on defending the kick returns. Just haven't been able to stop them. A couple big ones today, especially to start off the game. But another big one here and they'll have, and the Rams will start off with great field position. And this is part of the reason why the defense has had trouble with the running game is the uh, Rams just had great field position all day. So here we go, 433 remaining in the second quarter, 28-17, cards up, uh, ball on the 48-yard line. Uh, Martinez under center for the Rams, it's gonna be a first and 10. He's gonna little play action, roll out to the right. He looks downfield, throws, has a man around the 35-yard uh, line. That's gonna be a pickup for a first down and uh, plenty of time here for the Rams to get some more points on the board. Just a uh, wide receiver just able to beat the defenders off the line of scrimmage and uh, didn't quite see 
where he exactly is going to end up here, but it looks like it's going to be around the 32-yard line and another drive for the Rams as they'll enter. So Martinez hands off to Chavez, who's up the middle, up to the 25, 15-yard line, and some more big yardage here for this uh, Rams offense. Still haven't found a question for him. Cardinals defense held up uh, the prior series, and now uh, here comes the running backs. As I said before, this Monterey Tech team is loaded with running backs. Uh, they can put a fresh pair of legs in almost every down. We're going to hit the four-minute mark, 28-17. It's going to be a first and 10 on the Cardinals 17. Rams threatening to score here late in the second quarter. So Martinez under center. We got two backs, one tight end for Monterey Tech. Here comes the snap, and he's going to hand off for a uh, going to be a loss. That was to Castian, number 21. He's going to be pushed back. Number 35 on the tackle. And he just got great penetration there up the middle. That's uh, Tyler Fields, the linebacker, just able to come in on the blitz and just stop those, stop the running back in the backfield for a few yard, couple yard loss there. So it's going to be a ball on the 19 yard line, second and 10 now, 312 remaining in the uh, second quarter. Martinez and shotgun. We got four wide receivers. Excuse me, five wide receivers. Martinez looking left. The ball is almost picked off in and out of the hands of number 25 for Incarnate Word. Devin Avery had the coverage wow. on the play right to him. I don't know what the quarterback was thinking there, but uh, I guess he just read the route well and had no, had no chance to get to the receiver there as it bounces off. De Devin Avery's chest, and if you were a wide receiver, you would have gotten slapped so hard. But he's like, he's just a quarterback. I so I tell you what, we'll Avery's going. Him. He's going. Avery yards is going 85 yards the other way if he holds on to that ball. Three minutes left now, 28-17 in the second quarter. Martinez to throw again. The ball's tipped and nearly almost uh, picked off again here by this Carter Ward defense. It's going to bring up a fourth down now for Monterey Tech. Uh, trying to set up a basic screen there. Uh, quarterback got a couple pressure up the middle and just threw it a little high, and it'll fall, tip off the wide receiver's hands, and that will be a fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for a field goal here from the 20-yard line. So we're going to call it about a 37-yard kick here, 2.55 remaining. And the kick is up and good. Oh, excuse me, no good, just nearly missed. Looked like it was good for here. Hey, I'm not gonna argue with the refs. Score's gonna say 28-17. Let's go to the field to Marisa uh, to see what this crowd's doing. And maybe we're gonna keep it right here. I think she's getting ready for her halftime uh, locker room interviews. Uh, if we can get her in there, 28-17 now. Uh, it's gonna be Cardinals football on the 20 yard line first and 10 2 minutes and 51 seconds remaining to put some more points on the board uh troy you want to stay aggressive going into the half what do you want to do here uh i don't exactly want to start milking the clock i don't want to give the ball back to uh, monterey tech but i don't exactly want to start throwing it downfield either well i say you just uh, mix it up like they've been doing all day a couple hands offs to trent rios and then Throw the ball downfield after you loosen him up a little bit. Special on the quarterback keeper up the middle has some room out to the 35 yard line. Finally brought down. Another first down for uh, Incarnate Word. Special just running with reckless abandonment out there. <laughs> had, had a whole run through, and he just does not like to go down on the play. So it's going to be 243 remaining, 2817. Incarnate Word, first and 10 at the 32 yard line. And we're going to have a penalty on the play that's going to bring the ball back now. If me and Troy can find out what's going on here for uh, Incarnate Word. And. Excuse me, they put Peyton Lynch on the last play. So it's going to be 243 now, 2817. And coming off an incarnate word uh, penalty, that's going to take him back to the 10-yard line. It's going to be a first and 10 now 
for Incarnate Word. Peyton Lynch in shotgun. We got four receivers, one back. Here comes the uh, snap for Incarnate Word. Peyton up the middle and is going to be in and out of the hands of Trent Reels. Looks like maybe he put a little too much on that. Actually, that was Jacob Love on their Excuse me. drop pass there. Uh, I don't understand the strategy here to put a new quarterback in after uh, Specia had a, a great series the uh, first uh, couple, first uh, in the first half, but uh, looking like they're going to give uh, the freshman Lynch a shot and maybe just uh, working on the future games for him. So it's going to bring a second down and 19 for Peyton Lynch. We got four receivers. One back, 2.38 remaining in the second quarter. Cards up 28-17. Here comes the snap. And Peyton looking out to Derek Walls, who dodges a uh, tackle, fights for another couple of yards up, up to the 18-yard line. Pick up about seven. That's going to bring up a third down now for Incarnate Word with 2.30 remaining. Uh, you want to convert on this third down. I don't want to give the ball back uh, to the... Uh, Rams, especially like you said, on these special teams, they're getting big yardage on their punt returns. They still got 225 remaining. You get a punt here, you're going to put the Rams right back in good field position. Well, it's going to be a tough first down for them as they'll have a third down and about 15 here. And they have a new quarterback in, Lynch, so he's still getting a feel for the game. He hasn't even taken a snap. Only taken a couple snaps so far today. Man in motion, Lynch in shotgun, and he's going to keep it. And he's going to be stopped around the uh, looks like the 16 yard play line. Was blown dead on. And you're exactly right. I think the play was blown dead, and we're going to find out from these officials. We're going to have a uh, delay of game now on Incarnate Word, so it's going to push him further back now. That should be a third and 19 now for Incarnate Word. We're under two minutes to play now. 159 remaining in the first half. Here comes Austin Quinney and Robert Williams, uh, receivers for Incarnate Word, into the game. Cards break the huddle. Got Peyton Lynch, still a quarterback. We got three receivers right up to the right, one on the left. Cards moving from left to right on the radio dial. We got Walls in motion across the line. Here comes the snap. And Peyton Lynch, keeper up the middle. He's got some room out to the 20-yard line. He's going to be stopped around the 23-yard line for Incarnate Word. Questionable play goal on the third and long uh, decision making by Payne Lynch there. Had some room on the play, but uh, you know, it's hard to gain 20 yards on a run on a quarterback keeper, especially. But uh, good blocking, and they'll have to punt, though, with uh, two mi one minute and 22 seconds, so able to knock a lot of time off that clock. So good enough punt here to keep the Rams from getting too good of a field position before the end of the half. So the Rams are away, call a timeout at the 122 mark. They're going to get the ball back, and uh, they might have some decent field position and a little bit of time to work with, 28-17. Let's uh, check with Marisa Cabron on the sideline if she's with us. Marisa? Yes, I am here, and actually, I'm actually here with the Army ROTC, and they're going to tell you a little, about, about, a little bit about something that they're doing. Okay, every time we score, we're going to be doing push-ups for the amount of points in which we have. I'm actually Cardinal Company, Company Commander. My name is Cadet Martinez. I'm actually here with my exo, Andrew Segura. Here he is. Hey, how you doing? Uh, we're glad that Cardinal Company can uh, come support the uh, Cardinals during their first football game and all the football games from here on out. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Well, there you guys have it. They are, you know, working hard and doing everything they have to do for these for this game and all the games. Thanks, Marty. So me and Troy and KUIW completely backed the ROTC here at Incarnate Word. It's 122 remaining, and the uh, punt team's on the field for Incarnate Word, 28-17, and back to receive a Monterey Tech around the 35-yard line. Aaron Willis, the punter on the play, and he'll have a big kickoff here. And we'll see where they end up as the number 21 to receive, and he'll gain about five, eight yards on the play. That was Castellan with the reception. Uh, going to start at the 50-yard line now. Rams got 50 yards to go in a minute and 13 to do it. 
Well, uh, hopefully the Cardinal defense can just slow him down until the half's over. And that way they can get the ball right back. So here we go. We got a minute 13 to play in the second quarter. 28-17, cards way. Uh, Martinez and company for the Rams. Uh, trying to put some more points on the board as they're down by 11 here in the first half. Martinez in shotgun. And he's going to throw out, caught and dropped at the 40-yard line. And we'll great see. defense here by Incarnate Word. It's going to bring up a second down and 10 now with 104 remaining. Good timing on the hit by the Cardinals secondary there. As soon as the ball got to their wide receiver's hands, uh, just a big hit on the wide receiver, aim, not, and that causes the incomplete pass. So here we go, second down now, ball on the 49-yard line of the Rams. Martinez in shotgun. Going to have four receivers for the Rams, one back. Here's the snap, and we're going to have a flag on the play now. Play was blown dead. And we're going to wait on the call here. So no time taking off the clock. Still 101 remaining, 28-17. And it's going to be a false start, start now against the uh, Monterey Tech Borregos, the Rams. It's going to be second and 15 now. Ball on the 44 now of the Rams. Well, they're digging themselves into a little bit of a hole here to end the uh, first half. Just uh, now they basically have to become one-dimensional as they'll go into the shotgun formation. So Martinez in shotgun, four receivers, one back. He drops back, he's got plenty of time. He throws long out to the 45-yard line. That ball is caught, tackled by two Cardinals there with 50 seconds to play now and ticking. Looks like the basic uh, cover two or cover three by the uh, defense there. Two, uh, two safeties, or two uh, safety and a corner were in the general vicinity on the play, but not able to cause the incomplete pass. Martinez a quarterback, second and 15, and he throws to a uh, wide open receiver on the right sideline. That one's complete at the 30 yard line. And he might've been out of bounds. They know they're gonna call it in, excuse me. You no, know, he is gonna be out of bounds. That's gonna make up a third down now for the Rams with 30 seconds left to play in the first half. Maybe a little bit of juggling at the end of the play after the hit because I didn't really see the, uh, it looked like he was in bounce when he caught the ball. Just uh, didn't have any possession of it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I would guess. So third down and four now with 30 seconds remaining in the second quarter. The Rams trying to put some points up on the board before the half, they're already down by 11 points. Martinez in shotgun, he takes the snap, drops back, and he's gonna throw down field and he overthrows the intended receiver on the 10 yard line. That's gonna be fourth down now, fourth and four for the Rams with 23 seconds. Cards are gonna have a chance to uh, get the ball back here right before the half. Well, the wide receiver had a step on his defender, but uh, the quarterback just overthrew him just a tad, even though he had plenty of time to throw in the pocket. Just the, a bit on the outside. The more this game goes on, the more I think this is more of a running football team for the Rams. Twenty-three seconds left in the half here. Cardinals up twenty-eight seventeen. Great job by this defensive uh, team for Incarnate Word. Before I forget, special thanks to Nate back in the station. He's our operations manager for KIW.org doing a great job for our broadcast. I want to thank uh, Marisa again down on the field. And I want to take our, uh, thank our TV uh, crew, UIW TV in full effect. We are streaming the game. And it looks like Cardinals are just going to take a knee here to end the half. We'd like to thank all our camera guys as they're up on the stands. And uh, they might be able to, and uh, Caesar and David are back in the booth running this whole show. So that's, that's the first half here. That's going to do it for our first half. We're going to go back to the station just for a few moments. We're going to get some, uh, try to get some interviews for you. We'll be back. You're listening to KIW.org and Carter Work Cardinals up 28-17. Thanks, everyone, for listening. We'll be back for more Cardinal action in just a few. So let's go down now to the uh, first down. Monterey Tech in the first half, 17. Incarnate Word, 28. Uh, rushes uh, for Incarnate Word. Excuse me, the passing for Incarnate Word, uh, 29 of 100, for 171 yards for Monterey Tech, 15 
for 134 yards for uh, Incarnate Word. Uh, total offensive plays and yards, 41 plays. Monterey Tech ran in the first half for 251 yards, and Incarnate Word ran 30 for 282 yards. Uh, punt returns, uh, Monterey Tech with the um, one for eight yards, and they, the big 63-yard kickoff return that opened up the game. They had four kick returns for 152 yards. Meanwhile, Incarnate Word for the punt returns, one for 70, and kickoff returns, three for 65 yards. Interceptions, Incarnate Word had a pick early in the second quarter, excuse me, in the first quarter uh, that resulted in a touchdown on a Specia to Walls play on the ensuing play. Uh, Incarnate Word punt two times for 27 yards, and Tech punted one time for 49 yards. Also, red zone scores and chances. Monterey in the end zone uh, four times uh, in the first half, and Incarnate Word one and one. So uh, the second half just underway here, 28-17 Cardinals. If you're just tuning in, uh, we're here live at Benson Field, the first inaugural game here at Incarnate Word. Football program started about two years ago, and finally it's uh, showtime here under the uh, Saturday Night Lights at Benson Field. 28-17, your cards are in the lead, and they will get the uh, ball first in the second half. Cardinal offense uh, showing some great sparks in the first half. We'll see uh, which quarterback uh, Santiago decides to send out this time after the kickoff. Uh, Santiago likes to mix up, mix and match his quarterbacks to try to get them all playing time since they all been here for a year. Three of them have been here for a year, so winning the... And it looks like it's going to be uh, Love and Walls set to receive uh, the punt and we are underway our second half just getting started and Walls fills it in the end zone he's going to bring it out to the 20 yard line he's going to be uh, tackled right around the 21 yard line so that's where the cards are going to start the uh, second half of the first inaugural game here Troy some things uh, the cards did in the first half that you really like well, they controlled the ball on the offensive side, and they didn't allow the defense to set the tone for them. They moved the ball downfield very effectively. I think they only got stopped on one drive straight up, and uh, just an overall great performance by the offense. Defense had some trouble stopping the running game, and but that's uh, apparently Monterey, Monterey Tech's uh, biggest strength here, so we'll see if they can... Uh, clinch it up in the second half. So guys in motion for the Cardinals. Species shotgun, two receivers. He's going to hand off up the middle to Trent Reels. He gets a little room out to the 30, excuse me, 25 yard line. Call it the 24. That's going to bring up a second down now here in the second quarter. Uh, one of the things I liked about uh, Incarnate Word is their composure. They uh, let up a 63 yard run on the first play of the game on the opening kickoff to Monterey Tech and the defense held them to only three points. Carnet Word answered back, was up 14 to three at one point. So this young, uh, inexperienced team uh, kept their composure after a big 63-yard uh, kickoff return on the opening, uh, opening kickoff. And that's one of the things that I, I commend them for. Speechant shotgun. He's going to throw up the middle two walls. That's going to be caught around the 26-yard uh, line. Gain of a couple. That's going to bring up a third down now for Carnet Word. Well, Incarnate Word does have a lot of mix and match in their receiving core. A couple speed guys and a couple tall guys. Uh, Todd Walker, 6'1", as opposed to Jacob Love, who's only 5'7". And then Austin Quinney, who's 5'11". So just a lot of mixing and matching in that. Uh, Special under center, and he's going to take the snap and a little play action. He's going to roll out to the right. He's going to throw down field, and he has a man at the 40-yard line. And, and he's he, going to drop the ball, and that's going to be the intended receiver. Looks like it was going to be number 80. Andrew Musio, the backup tight end, had the ball in his hands, got whacked right out, little underthrown by Specia, and that might have caused the drop pass. And But there, I think I saw a penalty flag somewhere on the play. And that was a gutsy call on a third and three. We're here opening up the second quarter, and a gutsy call by... Uh, Coach Santiago, little play action to go downfield. 
uh, to uh, Andrew Mosio. Almost worked if he could have held on to the ball. That's going to bring up a fourth and three now. 13-35, the third quarter is just getting uh, underway. And uh, let's see what the penalty was. It was declined. It was on the Cardinals. So that should bring out the uh, punt team for Incarnate Word. No, it shouldn't. And uh, on the penalty. Let's see. They're going to move the ball up a good 15 feet. Maybe a pass interference call. I stand correct. Excuse me. It's going to be a first down now. Even better for the Cardinals at the 42-yard line now. 13-35. The... Uh, penalty was on Monterey Tech, not Incarnate Word. So with 1335 uh, going on a gutsy uh, play call by Coach Santiago, that's going to result in a penalty and a first down nonetheless. So Specia quarterback, we got uh, Robert Williams in motion. And Specia now with the option to Williams around the left side. He's going to get around to the 40-yard line. There's going to be a fumble on the play, and Monterey Tech uh, recovers at the 37-yard uh, line of Incarnate Word. Momentum shifting pretty quickly here in the second half. Looks like a Carnot Word caught a break in the with the penalty call last play, but there is a, another penalty flag on the play, so we'll see if that play stands. We're on a first, uh, third and three. They opt to go downfield. Uh, the play was no good, but the cards caught a huge break and a penalty against uh, Monterey Tech. And so now that brought up a first down and 10, and now it looks like it's going to be a fumble on uh, for Incarnate Word, but another penalty will push the on Monterey Tech is going to have the Cards keep the ball and push uh, Monterey Tech deeper into their own end zone. Well, uh, apparently we lost our mic on the ref here. I uh, haven't been able to get a clear clear call, but it looks like it was happened after the play. And now, um, so the Monterey Tech will keep the ball, but they will get pushed back to about the 46-yard line. So it's going to be Monterey Tech's ball, first and 10 on their own 47-yard uh, line, 13-27 remaining, 28-17. Sorry for the confusion. Our uh, mics in the press box uh, have gone out, so we have no more uh, contact communication with the referees of exactly what the plays are going on. Hand off to Kassan. He's going to get out to the 50-yard line uh, to midfield for the Rams. That's going to bring up a second down now. Cards up 28-17. The third quarter just got started. Decoya Moyer on the tackle there. Uh, good speed by the Monterey Tech running backs here as they're getting a little bit of daylight. Cardinals are closing in pretty quickly, but the running backs are so fast that they're hitting the holes and able to get a few yards even if there's not much on the play. So here we go. It's going to be a second and six now at the 49-yard line. Uh, Martinez in under center for the uh, Rams. We've got two wide receivers and two backs for Monterey Tech. Here comes the snap. He's going to hand off to number 22 for Monterey Tech, Khan, and he's going to get a couple of yards. It's going to bring up uh, close to the first down, actually. We're going to wait on the call for that one. Haven't had an official measurement yet today, and it looks like he's going to be marked right, right about a yard short of that uh, first down marker. Good play by the Borregos as they're going back to what they had so much success with in the first half is just the power running game right up the middle. Scoreboard is going to call it third and one. We're going to call it third and inches here. At the 12:05 mark in the third quarter, Martinez under seven with two wide receivers and two backs for Monterey Tech. Here comes the snap, handoff up the middle, got the first yard and more out to the 38-yard line of Incarnate Word. Well, Cardinals still having a little trouble stopping the run, not able to get a lot of penetration in front of the line. Defensive line needs to step up, maybe time a couple snaps better. I don't know exactly what problem is why they're not getting any penetration at all but they need to stop it because the Rams are starting to march and starting to take back some of the momentum here in the second half. We saw this in the second quarter the Rams ran and ran and ran the ball they loaded with backs they got Alanis, Khan, Chavez and Castellan uh, in their backfield a little play action checking downfield a pass to a uh, tended receiver for a Monterey Tech is going to be incomplete that was to number 84, Alejandro Ramos, and uh, he was puzzled to where the ball was coming, 
did have some separation from the defender, but the ball was way uh, out of his area. That's going to bring up a second down and 10, ball on the 30 yard, uh, 39 yard line. Looks like there's some uh, offensive pass interference on the play too, as the wide receiver came out and like pushed their defender's head down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it didn't get called. Just another refs are doing the best they can, I'm sure. So it's going to be second and 10 now. Ball on the 39 yard line. Monterey Tech. With the football, 28-17, they're down here in the third quarter, and Martinez is going to call a timeout as he didn't like the defense he was going up against. And we're going to go down in just a moment down to Marisa, and she has a special interview for us uh, coming up. Uh, let's go down, Marisa. Thank you, Jaime. And I'm actually here with the Borregos cheerleaders, and I'm going to ask, what is your name? Malena. And Malena, how long did it take for y'all to get here? How long was that ride? Well, it was about an eight hour ride. Uh, terrible, <laughs> kind of. And what are your expectations for this game? Well, first of all, our football team expects to grab experience and be recognized at different points. And it's an opportunity for all, for open new doors for our team and for our institute and for our school and for every one of us. Great, thank you so much. Thanks, Marisa. Thank you. Second down and 10 now, 11.25 mark here in the third quarter. Cards up 28 to 17. We got Martinez under center, two wide receivers and two back set. And the Rams starting to move the ball off to Cassian up the middle, out to the 35, 34 yard line now for some, some more yardage. It's gonna bring up a third down now for the uh, Monterey Tech Rams. Uh, Cardinals here uh, just uh, allowing another five yard gain and it just seems like it's been repetitive all day long on this play. Got a record crowd here at Benson Stadium, 6,235 people. This stadium only sits 3,000. I don't know where the other 3,000 are, Troy, do you? Uh, around the fences at the tailgates <laughs> with all the food. Martinez drops back, looks for a throw. It's gonna be third down. He got a man open around the 18 yard line. That's gonna be good for a first down now. They're gonna be in the red zone. It's gonna be a First and 10 now, it's 10.38 remaining, and the Rams starting to put uh, some momentum going their way now to start off the uh, second quarter, uh, excuse me, the third quarter. Troy, what do you think about those two play calls uh, early in the third quarter for this uh, Cardinal defense, uh, Cardinal offense, excuse me, the uh, third and three deciding to go long? Well, it kind of puzzles me a little bit. Third and three, it just uh, seems like a pound situation. Maybe it take a little uh, right. thing from our uh, Borregos uh, opponents here. Right. But uh, just trying to catch him off guard. Had a man open, just didn't quite get it there. So I uh, can't really blame the plane call because it actually did work. So it's going to be 10.09 now uh, for Monterey. Excuse me, 10.05 remaining in the third quarter. Uh, Monterey, Monterey Tech with the ball and driving, 28.17. Remaining in the third quarter is going to be a second and seven. It's been all Monterey Tech here in the third quarter. And Martinez is going to be under center. He got two back set. Here's the snap out to Chavez, who's going to slash and dash a little for a couple. It's going to bring up a third down now for Monterey Tech. Well, C Cardinal defense has shown this all day, allowing a few yard gains. And then once they get into the red zone, kind of clamping down a little which is always what you want to see if your defense is struggling against the running game. If they can stop them in the red zone, it really limits the damage of what the offense can do. Third and five. Five receivers, no backs. Martinez in shotgun. He's going to drop back, looks, throws, and the ball's tipped by Carnival defense. That was number 35. Tyler Fields on the tip pass there. Good coverage as the linebacker reads the play perfectly and able to keep the... Uh, Borregos out of the end zone again. Very conservative play here uh, for the Rams. Uh, here comes the punt team. Try to get uh, move this, excuse me, the field goal team. It's going to be 28-17 now. And it looks like uh, Incarnate Word looked like they were going to single for a uh, timeout, but they didn't after all. So it's going to be 9-14 remaining in the third quarter. And here comes the uh, field goal attempt. It's a fake now for Monterey Tech, and he's gonna be stopped well short 
of the first down marker, and this defense is hyped for Incarnate Word. <laughs> I've never been a fan of the fake field goal run by the <laughs> kicker there. Just uh, if you want to do it, just do a straight up uh, fourth down, go for it. But uh, Monterey Tech thought they could catch the Cardinals off guard, but unable to do so as they get bring them down about a couple yards short of that first down. And that's going to swing all the momentum that was going Monterey. Well, it looked like it was going to go Monterey Tech's way is now going to go the Cardinals way. Cardinal D uh, offense on the field, no huddle. Specia at quarterback. We got two wide right receivers and one back. Got a man in motion across the line. Here comes the snap. This is going to drop back, throw to his left, and the ball is in and out of the hands of number four for Incarnate Word. Todd Walker on the drop pass there. Uh, heard a little bit of footsteps or just uh, thought he had enough room and just thought about running with the ball before he actually caught it. Uh, not something you want to see from your senior wide receiver who's supposed to be mentoring the rest of the offense. So it's going to bring up a second down and 10. Ball on the Cardinal 11-yard line. 9.02 remaining in the third quarter. Cards still up 28-17. Stopped the fake field goal attempt. Got the ball back here in the third quarter. No points scored yet for either team. Three receivers, one in the slot. And Specia feels the pressure. He's going to have to throw it to uh, Robert Williams. It was a bad pass as he uh, had the pressure coming on. There's a flag in the backfield. It might be a late hit on Specia. And let's find out. It's going to be a personal foul on the defense. Late hit on uh, Thomas Specia. So that's going to bring up a Cardinal first down and move the chains. More like rough in the passer, Jaime, but it's the same basic idea that you don't want to mess with the quarterback. Very protective of the quarterback in every league now. Right. As uh, players like Troy Aikman, who had to uh, spend their whole careers going through concussions, and every football league has now adopted a policy to protect the quarterback, so defenses have to mind that when they're playing. So uh, Cardinals get a break here as they'll get a new set of downs and move to about to the 27, just shy of the 27-yard line. So it's going to bring up a first down and 10 now, 8.57 remaining, ball on the 27-yard line. Cardinals moving the chains uh, any way they can here in the third quarter. Uh, got some uh, good breaks on the first series and uh, got a good one right here to move the chains first and 10 now. Here comes Specia out of the huddle. We got three receivers, one back. That's Trent Reels in the backfield. Guys in motion. Here comes the snap handoff with the middle of Reels. He's going to fight to the 30-yard uh, line now of the Carnet Word. Well, Rio's not seeing a whole lot of action, but uh, he has been uh, getting all positive yardage on his rush on his rushes tonight. Once again, uh, going back to the shotgun, only one or only two snaps under center, and one if you one if you don't count the kneel down. But Cardinals sticking to their offense that they've shown us all off season, so. That's going to bring up a second and seven now. Ball on the third yard line. 8.23 remaining in the third quarter. Specia and shotgun. Three receivers lined up on the left side. Cardinals moving from left to right on your radio dial. Trent Reels, the lone back. Here comes the snap. Specia, a little pump fake. You to throw deep to, to uh, the sideline intended for Austin Quinney. And uh, a little overthrown there. Uh, Quinney never really had a real shot at it. Well, good coverage on the play by Monterey Tech. They had two wide receivers, or two um, s s defenders on the wide receiver. Not, uh, not a really great choice by Specia to throw it there. It was just a little overthrown. A perfect pass would have gotten it, but uh, that would have been one good pass. So it's going to bring up a third and seven now. Ball on the 30-yard line. Williams in motion, got two wide receivers. Trent Reels in the backfield. Uh, Specia in shotgun. And he's gonna call a timeout here as uh, it looked like Williams wasn't set and uh, really kind of looked like a little bit of confusion on the uh, part of Incarnate Word. Well, it all, it's happening really quickly here as the Cardinals look like they could have taken this game away from Monterey Tech, but haven't capitalized so far in this drive. Struggling a little to get anything going on the offensive side of ball. 
just trying to put this game away, but just haven't been able to so far today. A grinding third quarter, uh, I think would be the words for it so far. It's 8.06 remaining, 28-17. Uh, your University of Incarnate Word Cardinals in the lead. If you're just tuning in, I'm Jaime Valdez, student broadcaster for KUIW. I'm here with Troy Miles. He's our sports director for KUIW.org. KUIW has been around. This is its fifth season calling sports. We call basketball, baseball, softball. We did a couple of volleyball games and now Incarnate Word football with the birth of the new program here at Incarnate Word. This is the first uh, inaugural game here at Benson Field. And the cards are up 28-17 coming out of a timeout. It's going to be third and seven, ball on the 30. Uh, we've seen a very electrifying first half by both teams. Very exciting uh, game. Not what I was expecting here uh, for the home opener for Incarnate Words. Speech and shotgun, three receivers, one in the slot. Trent Rios in the backfield. Here comes a snap, a low snap out to Rios, out to the 30. He's going to be tackled. Uh, not enough for the first down. And we're going to see the Cardinal punt team coming out. I didn't really understand the if it was a play call and Speecher was supposed to throw it to Rios or he just thought he was the only one open, but it, he didn't have a clear path to the first down marker, and that's like the first thing you look for if you're going to throw short of it. Set to receive the punt is number 21 of Monterey Tech, Castellan, and uh, he is their uh, punt returner. Uh, he's also their starting running back. They do have also Alanis number eight, Con 22, Chavez 32. Uh, as I said, uh, mentioned earlier in the first half, this Monterey Tech team loaded with running backs. And here's the snap, and the kick is off. The ball is going to be fielded around the 28 yard line out to the 30, 35, where he's going to be stopped around the 36 yard line. And uh, some. Good uh, coverage here that we've seen, haven't been seen all day. Good coverage on this uh, Incarnate Word uh, special teams. Well, that was there was only one person who could tackle him, and that was number 83 for the special teams of the Cardinals. As you look, <laughs> he just uh, wrapped him up, almost almost broke away, but able to wrap him up was number 83. So it's going to be first and 10 now, ball on the 36-yard line, 7.06 remaining in the third quarter. It's been a very uh, uh, grinding quarter, 28-17, cards way. Kenneth Pryor was on the tackle, the wide receiver. Just a great tackle by Kenneth Pryor on that uh, special teams play. He was the only one in the area that can make a tackle, able to stop his men in the open field, and uh, it's going to give... Uh, Cardinals decent field position to work with on defense. Coming up uh, September 5th, we're going to be calling the Arkansas game in Arkansas. That's going to be next week. Troy and I will have the call. And also um, the tentative schedule, 9 to 10 Cardinal football talk with Troy and Jaime every Friday also. You want to get with that. And we want to go to uh, the sidelines and see what uh, Marisa has for us. Marisa? Thank you. Well, right now I'm with Incarnate Word Cardinal player. He is Michael Palacios, number 68. Michael, how do you feel so far about the game? Uh, the game's going real good right now. Uh, offense and defense are both doing the thing, and it's looking real good. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Thanks, Marisa. Martinez under center now. It's first and 10 for the Rams. He's going to drop back and uh, pass up the middle. It looked like it was tipped there. It's going to bring up second down now, 7:01 in the third quarter. Um, so far tonight, Monterey Tech has not had a whole lot of sex, success passing the ball. It uh, looked like number 40, the tight end, was wide open on the play on the back end, and the quarterback just did not see him quick enough. Incomplete pass, going to stop the clock right there at 7:01. Second down and 10, ball on the 36. Martinez. Under center now, we got two wide receivers lined up to the left, two backs. Monterey Tech moving from the right to the left on your radio dial. He's going to drop back and be stopped for a loss in the backfield. Should rule that as a sack. A uh, couple well, didn't see who got the initial pressure. Maybe number 90. Number 90 got the official sack there. That's a uh, 
Don't have him on my depth chart. We'll see on the roster here. Either way, that's going to be a 6.28 now remaining in the third quarter. No one scored yet. Cards up 28-17. Very uh, different third quarter, very different second half from what we saw in the first half. Going to bring up a third and 13 now. Ball on the 34-yard line. Martinez in shotgun. We're going to have five wide receivers, no backs for Monterey Tech. Here comes the snap. Martinez drops back, looks to his left, and has a man throws up the middle and a little too high, and it's nearly picked off as the ball falls off the fingertips of the intended receiver. That's going to bring up down a fourth and 13, and that's going to call out for the uh, Monterey Tech punt team. Uh, Chad Miles got the sack on the last play, but uh, it was a good job all around by the defensive line. On, on this one, uh, quarterback had some time in the pocket, just uh, been inaccurate all day. Has Jorge Mont Martinez, just hasn't been consistently accurate all day. And set to receive Derek Walls. Here comes the kick. He's about the 20-yard uh, line, fielded, and he's going to roll around to the 22-23 uh, yard line. He's going to be stopped uh, out of bounds around the 23-yard line. That's going to put the Cardinals with a first and 10 now with 551 remaining in the third quarter. So we got 5.51 remaining in the third quarter. Cards up 28-17 if you're just tuning in. It's going to be Incarnate Word's ball. They're moving from left to right on uh, your radio dial. Incarnate Word, and they're all black jerseys. Monterey Tech, you heard it earlier, eight-hour drive into San Antonio, Texas, wearing their all-white jerseys. And uh, what a game. They already started their season. They're 3-0 and in the season, and this is Incarnate Word's first inaugural game here at Benson Field. Very young uh, team made up of red shirt freshmen, freshmen and sophomore. Talked to Coach Santiago last week at the uh, black and white scrimmage and one of his main concerns uh, uh, obviously is the speed of the game and the inexperience of this young team. Also the fact that they haven't played football in almost two years. A lot of them uh, signed out of high school and they just haven't played football in a while. Talked to Trent Rios' dad earlier at the tailgate party, and he said he wasn't too concerned about the layoff for Trent. He said uh, they've been hitting hard in practice, had some good scrimmages, so the, the, uh, the layoff really didn't concern him too much. More, uh, he was more nervous than he thinks Trent was about this first game, and that's just the dad talking. So we got 5.51 remaining in the third quarter. It's 28-17 in Cardinals' way. We're hearing a timeout for Incarnate Word coach Santiago uh, rallying up the troops. But we usually unplug the phone. Put us on, put us on, put us on. Welcome back, everyone. Sorry for the technical difficulties. It's 545 in the third quarter, 28-17. The card's moving the ball. Uh, pass complete for a first down. It's going to be first and 10 at the 36-yard line. We have uh, Specia and Shotgun, two wide receivers, two backs, Reels, and uh, the fullback, Geese. And here comes the snap for Incarnate Word. And handoff to Reels, who's going to get some room around the right side. And he's going to be dropped around the 40. Excuse me, it wasn't Reels. Uh, J.J. Johnson, uh, the 5'8", running 185-pound sophomore from Clemens. Texas gets a few yards on the play. I think he's like the third string running back. So that's going to bring up uh, second down now. It's going to be five. We hit the five minute mark now in the third quarter, 28 17. Cards way. Cards starting to move the ball here. No one scored yet in the third quarter. Very different story from the first uh, electrifying half we saw here today. So Specian shotgun. We got two receivers, two backs. Specia doesn't like the defense he sees. Changing up the play a little. Here comes the snap for Incarnate Word. Specia drops back, looks to his left, throws, and complete. And the receiver goes up to the 45-yard line and can't exactly see who that was. He's going to be brought down about the 42-yard uh, line of the Rams. That's going to bring up a first down now. Card's really starting to move the ball. Caleb Koshian on the, on the reception there. Just a basic... Uh, 
cut in route there, just able to get in on his defender and uh, gets a few yards after the catch for Cardinals first down. So here we go now, first and 10 now, ball at the 42 yard line, 14, 419 remaining in the third quarter. Specia in shotgun, two receivers and two backs. Uh, Specia again, uh, changing up the play, doesn't like his defense. And we're gonna have a flag on the play as Specia is pointing to the defensive line. We're gonna wait for the call here to see exactly uh, what it was, it's gonna be a uh, false start on Incarnate Word, so it's gonna be a first and 15 now. That's gonna push the cars back to the, with 4.06 remaining to the 47 yard line now. Cardinals right now, uh, especially on that last false start, shooting themselves in the foot, but they have been uh, putting together some good plays on this drive. Milking, milking that clock a little bit here as it will hit the four minute mark in the third quarter. So here we go, first and 15, ball on the 48 yard line, Specia and shotgun. Got two receivers, two backs. Here comes the snap. And it's a direct snap to Specia's quarterback keeper. It's gonna go out to the, uh, call it about the 36, 37 yard line for Incarnate Word. Still going to be short of the first down. That's going to bring up a second down now. Ball on the 37-yard line for Incarnate Word. 324 remaining in the third quarter. Uh, just a basic uh, option keeper there by Specia. So he'll get a few yards on the play. And it'll be about a second and four. So we got reels and guys in the uh, backfield. Two receivers for Incarnate Word. Specia in shotgun. Here comes the snap. And it's an option keeper, and Specia will get up for a couple more yards. Still not enough for the first down. I don't think it's going to bring up a third down in a few for Incarnate Word. Well, Specia continuing to keep the ball and continuing to dive down under the tackles and just risking head injury here. But uh, he is a pretty big guy, so I guess he can take it. Robert Williams now in the game for Incarnate Word. Out comes uh, Gies and number 88 for Incarnate Word. Gonna be 222 remaining now, 28-17. Third and five, ball on the 37. Got one back, three receivers, one in the slot for Incarnate Word. And here comes the snap and uh, it's gonna be a false start. I saw a movement on that offensive line. Looked like it was the uh, left guard for Incarnate Word, Michael Palacios. Number 68 moved a little early, so that's going to bring up a third and 10 and put the ball on the 42-yard line. So uh, what I'm noticing today is a lot of low snaps by the center, and uh, that's something they're going to have to work on before the next game. And we saw a lot of slow snaps uh, in last Friday's pre uh, excuse me, scrimmage game. The black and white game, there was uh, almost every snap was a low snap. That's going to bring up third and 10, ball on the 42. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. No one scored yet this quarter. Card still up 28-17, Specia and shotgun. And Walls is in motion on the right sideline. Here comes the snap. Specia's going to roll out to his right, looking for Walls downfield. And great concentration. The ball's caught around the five-yard line. And there's a flag on the play. It looks like it's going to be defensive uh, pass interference. We'll wait on the call for that. Great concentration for Walls on that reception on the third and 10 at the ball 42. Saw two big weapons on that play for the Cardinals. Specia's strong arm and ability to and ability to throw on the run, and uh, wide receiver's ability to catch the ball and, and concentrate it, even with a guy hanging on him. There wasn't a lot of space in between. <laughs> exactly. There was not a lot of space, and I'm, I think it was a good call by the officials. The official call was face mask on the play. Of course, it's going to be declined, and uh, wow, I mean, that was some great concentration there by a uh, freshman. Uh, receiver Derek Walls, that's number six, picked up the first down. It's going to be a first and goal now 
for Incarnate Word. 146 remaining, 28-17. The card's threatening to score again and would like to close this one out as this has been a very grind, uh, grind out third quarter for both teams. Not a lot of uh, ball movement, a lot of shooting themselves in their own foot on the offensive side. It's 146, no one scored yet in the third quarter. Uh, I, just looking at Specia on the play, just a basic rollout by Specia, able to throw downfield, find his receiver, a perfect pass there, and just uh, another weapon Specia has. Specia shotgun, and it's going to be a quarterback keeper up the middle, and he's going to be a little short. And tension starting to uh, flare up there inside the five yard line. It's going to bring up a second and goal now with 113 remaining, 28 17. That was a quarterback keeper designed for uh, Specia to go up the middle. And uh, 105 remaining now in the third quarter. First, first in, or second and goal with uh, about a two yards left. I would expect a shotgun. Uh, I'm going to guess uh, some kind of passing play here or. At least then, maybe just a handoff. Of I'm a gambling man. I'll bet up, uh, let's see, let's dial up a, a Specia keeper. Specia and shotgun, we got two receivers. They'll roll out option keeper up the middle. And waiting for the call, touchdown. Specia, the third one of the day for Specia. Well, a second rushing. Uh, actually, it's his fourth, fourth one, excuse me, for uh, Thomas Specia. That's going to give the cards a 34 to 17 lead now with 35 seconds left. In the third quarter, I'll tell you what, Troy, this has been a long third quarter to call. Well, a lot of offense equals a, usually equals a lot of plays going on. Uh, not a lot of grind out football by UIW, just a lot of big plays getting, getting up there as the extra point will be good. And the Cardinals will take a 34-17 lead over Excuse me, 35-17 uh, over Monterey Tech here. Specia showing reckless abandonment out there. <laughs> Tucks his head down and just fights off about the entire Monterey Tech defense on that play and able to get over for the touchdown. Maybe a little Peyton Lynch in this fourth quarter, early in the fourth quarter? I, I, w I would think so. It depends on... Uh, what the Monterey Tech does on this drive, I would well, imagine. With that, let's go to our sideline reporter, Maritza. What's going on? Thank you. Well, we're over here with the student organization side, and like I said, the whole entire field is surrounded by fans everywhere. And now, actually, I'm going to go to the Alpha Sigma Alpha sorority, and they are um, super excited to be here. So. Um, Jasmine, can you tell me something about the game? You know what? It's just full of energy, and we're down here to cheer on our Cardinals, so go Card. <laughs> there you have it, y'all. Thanks, Marisa. Couldn't, Thank you. Couldn't do it without you. We got a great sideline reporter. Um, of course, just just got the memo, I don't know, what, an hour before the game. We're going to have a talented sideline reporter down there. She's doing a great job. She's a senior here and incarnate word. Thanks for all your help. You're making Troy's and I, uh, my job easier thank you very much 35 17 cards up late in the third quarter with a specia keeper up the middle 35 seconds left to go in the third quarter and we have uh, number 21 for the uh, monterey tech rams uh Cassian set to receive the ball just to get you an idea of how long this game has taken, it's been two hours and 30 minutes since opening kickoff. Well, I and thought we're not even out of the third quarter I yet. I thought you were going to say two hours just in the third quarter. The ball's fielded around the 15 out to the 20, 30 yard line, 35 40. He's got some room, 45 50. No one, and he's finally brought down around the 45 yard line. And if he would have broke one more tackle, he would have been uh, home free there as uh, he would have been. <laughs> Nothing but real estate there, Troy. Well, uh, continuing to see problems on the defensive side of special teams, just allowing too many long kickoffs, and they're going to have to work on that before they play Arkansas next uh, time out. Uh, special teams and uh, the uh, running rush defense have been a problem for Incarnate Word today, but a problem, and they're up 35-17, so not too big of a problem so uh, the ball's going to go hand it off to uh, Alanis up the middle 
for Monterey Tech, and uh, it's going to be shy by a couple for the first down. Maybe less than a couple. It's going to bring up a second. We're going to call it a second and one now as the clock ticks down to end this third quarter. Well, Cardinals are probably, and it's showing zero right now, so that will be the end of the third quarter. Good third quarter by the Cardinals as they were able to get a touchdown and push that lead out and make it a more relaxed fourth quarter, and we'll see uh, which quarterback gets to go in. Well, Troy, point. we're three quarters down in the first uh, inaugural football game here. What do you think so far? Very exciting atmosphere. Suit and body uh, definitely showed up for this one. As you know, America loves its football. You see it every day, and you see it here on campus no different, as there are still no spaces out in the along the fence line. I still don't see any empty areas. So very good turnout for the Cardinals. Standing room only here at Benson Field. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we had over 6,000 fans here at Benson Field. That's a record. Uh, of course, automatically, this is our first football game here. They have hosted uh, soccer games and scrimmages here uh, at the uh, football field. So we're off to start the uh, fourth quarter. Cards with a 35-17 uh, point lead. We're 15 minutes away from the first ever game. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to jinx this. I'm just going to say we're 15 minutes away from ending our first uh, football game here at Benson Field. Is that a good way to put it, Troy? No, I would say that. No jinx there. Martinez goes long. He has a man in the end zone. It's intercepted in the end zone. For a card and word, cards are going to have it first and 10 on their own 20. Number 23, Aaron Hernandez, the safety, gets the interception, but there is a flag on the play, so we'll see how that will make the play sound. We'll s wait for the call, but just a great play by Aaron Hernandez to get the pick there. Had a quarterback under through it just a little, didn't lead his receiver quite enough, and Aaron Hernandez observer enough to make the pick, but we'll see. And it is going to be on incarnate word now. Uh, the question is, is it, was it after the interception or before? Or during. Or during. So we're waiting for the call for the officials as they are, are meeting around the 21-yard line to discuss the outcome of this play. Give you our best guess here. Pass interference on the defense. So that will nullify the interception, and it will still remain Monterey Tech ball. So Martinez and company, Martinez and the Rams are going to keep the ball now, 35-17. They're going to have some very good field position. They're going to be at the 22-yard line, starting to score. And uh, we've been seeing a lot of this, and it's not really uh, concerning as it was in the beginning of the game. I have full confidence in this Cardinal defense. I know they've been giving up a lot of yards, but they started tightening down uh, as, as they get in the red zone, as the, uh, the offense gets in the red zone. This Cardinal defense starts to tighten up. Martinez under center is going to hand off up the middle to Cassian, and he is gone. Touchdown, Monterey Tech, just like that to start off the fourth quarter. It's not over yet. Well, it seems like every time we make a statement, the opposite seems to happen on the very next play. But I guess that's just how it goes. I didn't, uh, looking at the instant replay, I didn't really see any uh, big pass interference. Maybe a hand came up and they just decided to call it. I didn't see it, but that's the ref's job to call, not mine. So it's going to be 35-23 now in uh, Monterey uh, special teams unit on for the extra point. Up and good, 35 to 24, still 11 point lead for Incarnate Word Cardinals. A lot of time left here in the fourth quarter. It's 14:36. Things are starting to get interesting. Incarnate Word scored late in the third quarter and in the beginning of the fourth, uh, Monterey Tech answers back. Let's go see how our fans are doing uh, with our sideline reporter, Marisa. Well, we definitely feel the excitement over here. All the Borrego fans are just dancing around and cheering. Thanks, Marisa. Well, at least some of these uh, fans are dancing around cheering. Our Incarnate Word team here and fans are still 
up with emotion and excitement. The game's not over yet. We're still in the lead, 35-24 by 11. Well, uh, Monterey Tech has an uphill battle here, but able to get the touchdown on the last drive to start the fourth quarter. And it just uh, seems like they have success running the ball as they got another rushing touchdown. And uh, I think that's their third one of the day, or no, second one of the day. No, third one of the day. So Trent Reels and Walls now back to receive for Incarnate Word. Troy now with some uh, third quarter stats, Troy. Uh, leading rusher for the Cardinals in the third corner was Specia with uh, 71 yards and uh, two rushing touchdowns so far until the third, so far in this game. And Reels, a receiver on the five yard line out to the 20, 25, finds a hole, cuts the corner out to the almost the 30 yard line. We're gonna call it about the 28 yard line for Trent Reels. That's gonna put the Cardinals at a first and 10. Another another decent return for the Cardinals. Just haven't had a bad return, haven't had an amazing one either. Just uh, kind of evening out here. They'll start the drive around the 30-yard line. And a timeout called, it seems. So Cardinals uh, looking to shut down Monterey Tech here as they try to win their season opener. They are up 35-24, to 24 and they have the ball. So look for him to start running a little more and get away from the pass quite as much. I'm not saying they're going to stop passing altogether. I'm just saying they're going to run the ball a little bit more. Rios, I bet Rios gets most bulk of the carries here. And we'll see if they're going to put out a new quarterback here. And uh, we can see right now on the sidelines, we think uh, Speech is going to stay in there a little bit longer, 35-24 in the uh, a touchdown away from, uh, excuse me, Monterey Tech's a touchdown away from making this a very close game. Still a lot of time here in the fourth quarter. So some of the things, Troy, in the third quarter that you didn't like uh, for Incarnate Word. Well, they're still allowing the rush, rushing up the middle too much. And uh, that's going to be something I want to watch out for as the season continues on. Continuing with the low snaps, it just hasn't had a consistent snap like right where it should be, or like right in his chest or waist, between his chest and his waist, been around his knees a lot of the time. So look, watch out for that as the season progresses as well. Specia and shotgun ball on the 29-yard line. And delay of game. we're going to have a delay of game, game call. Now incarnate word in a... By the gestures of Specia, uh, he's not happy at all to start off this series with a delay of game. Well, if you're going to have a delay of game, it's always better to have it on first down rather than third down. Because you got three more downs to make it up, or four if you count fourth down. So it's going to be a first and 15 now for Incarnate Word. Ball around the 29-yard uh, line, 14-27 remaining in the third quarter. Specia and shotgun, two receivers. Reels in the backfield. Uh, option keeper for a few yards. Uh, Specia on the carry, 14-18 now, 35-24, cards way. I'm surprised Specia hasn't had a concussion yet because he <laughs> dives forward head first every single time he gets the ball, and it's just making me crazy because that's how you hurt yourself. Looks like he got a bulk of those five yards back, maybe a couple yards short. A uh, yard short of the uh, original line of scrimmage here. We got Walker, Quinney, and Williams now in uh, as receivers for Incarnate Ward, Specia, and Shotgun. We got four receivers, one back, and another low snap, and it's going to be a Specia keeper up the middle. He's going to get about to the, uh, we call it the 30 yard line, game of about three. It's going to bring up a third down now for Incarnate Ward. Wasn't sure if that was a designed uh, quarterback draw there or. Uh, if it was just a blown play due to the low snap. And if it was a blown play due to the low snap, we definitely need to get that fixed before, because <laughs> it, it's been happening scrimmages, and now it's happening in the regular season, and it's really starting to hurt the Cardinals. 39 now, ball on the 30-yard line, 13-11 left to go in the game. Specia and shotgun, got four wide receivers, reels in the backfield, and here comes the snap, another low snap. Specia's gonna hold, and he's passes complete. 
to, looks like it's going to be Williams almost to the 40 yard line. And uh, not sure that's going to be enough for the first down. Looks a little short. And we're going to find out. And yes, they will mark it just short of the first down marker here. And it looks like special teams was about to go on the field, <laughs> but they got called back. So it's going to be a fourth and one now, and the Cardinal offense is going to stay on the field. And now here comes the, the uh, punt team right back on the field. I think maybe that was a little confusion on the Cardinals' part. Well, they're up 35-24, so there is no need to go for it. And it looks like there's going to be an official timeout here for measurement. So they're going to see exactly how far they have to go for the first down. And I think this is our first measurement of the game. It is our first measurement of the game. It's the first measurement of the Cardinals' season and of the Cardinals' Um, what's the word I'm looking for, Jaime? And it's Program, gonna, I guess. It's going to be about a yard short. And let's see what uh, Coach Santiago is going to decide to do. It's 12:26. Ball is at the 38-yard line. Troy, if it's your call, what do you do? I don't know. I'm kind of torn here. You are up 35 to 24, but there's still 12, 12 and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, and it looks like. They are going to punt here. It's going to be Thomas Rebold, number 49, sophomore, here at Incarnate Word, set to punt. And to receive, it's going to be number 21 for Monterey Tech, Castellan. Here comes the punt. And Rebold, nice kick fielded. It's going to actually go out of bounds now around the 24-yard uh, line. For Monterey Tech, that's where they're going to start. They're going to have a first and 10 now. Trying to shorten the lead here in the fourth quarter, 35-24. They're 3-0 coming into this game. Their season already started, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Or if you're just tuning in, uh, Monterey Tech took the eight-hour trip here to San Antonio, Texas to uh, help uh, the Incarnate Word Cardinals kick off their first game ever here at the university. Got Martinez at quarterback for the uh, Monterey Tech Borregos. Jorge Martinez, 6'1", 198 pounds. Uh, Monterey Tech loaded with running backs. Uh, we saw a big dose of them in the first half. And uh, UIW Cardinals just have not found an answer for those running backs as they just continue to mix and match on them with those running backs. Four different running backs until this point for Monterey Tech. Climbing for a huge chunk of yardage. It's kind of hard to tell how much yardage because they have been using a lot of different backs. All together, I would say almost 200 yards. If the uh, UIW Cardinals stop them here, it's a, basically a big boost and they can run out the clock the rest of the way. So here we go out of the huddle. It's going to be first and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. Got 12-10 remaining in the third quarter. Martinez under center with two receivers, a man in motion across the line. Here comes the snap, and he's going to be uh, tossed off to number 22, Khan, for a short pickup. It's going to bring up a second down now for the Monterey Tech Rams. Well, it's a very interesting situation for Monterey Tech as we start to end, go closer and closer to the end of this game is like you've had success running the ball but you're running out of cl clock and running takes up a lot of clock so which do you go with for the bulk of the time so here we go it's going to be a second and seven ball on the 27 yard line martinez under center hands off up the middle and uh it's going to be atlantis for the first down uh might be a little short excuse me and we're going to check uh, the official marking of the ball here. It's 11:21 remaining in the third quarter. Looks about maybe a half a yard short here. It's going to bring up a third down now. And about a yard, we'll call it, for the Rams. We're going to have uh, one right receiver. Excuse me, three right receivers, one back. Martinez hands off to the backfield. That's Casillon who gets past the 44 first down, but there's a flag on the play. 
happened around the same time the tackle happened, so we'll see what the official. Did you see a face mask in there? I didn't see it. I saw him grab his jersey. I didn't see a face mask, though. Maybe it was a blocking foul. We'll see. And even uh, better, it's going to be a hold against Monterey Tech. So that's going to push him back. We're going to redo third down here at Benson Field. Pretty good job by the Cardinals so far of stopping the run. Uh, Borrego's shooting themselves in the foot with these penalties, though. And we're going to, the official marking of the ball is going to be about an inch. Oh, wait, they're moving it back even more now. Let's see where they put the final set. Anyway, uh, Cardinals defense looking to capitalize on the penalty here. It'll be a third down in about five, more like four, for the Borregos. So th basically the game relies on this next play. And there's a snap, and it's going to be to number 22, Khan, who's got some running room out up almost to the 40-yard line. That's going to be uh, good enough for the first down for the Rams, who are going to start grinding out this ball, pounding up the middle, using this clock towards them. They know they can run the ball. They can have their way running the ball, and they're going to do just that against this Cardinal defense, 35-24. And uh, Troy, what would you do if you're on the defensive, fight, uh, defensive end of this uh, series? Uh, just try to keep them from getting the big plays, the 10-yard gains. Martinez back in sh shotgun. He's going to throw out to his right side, and he's going to be stopped by number seven of Incarnate Word. Chaz Pavliska on the tackle there. Good open field tackle. A quarterback uh, had a lot of pressure, able to get the ball off to a receiver, but unfortunately is brought down behind the line of scrimmage, and there is an injury on the Cardinals defense here and we'll see if we can see who it is. Well as we wait for that let's go ahead and go to Marisa who's down there on the sideline. Marisa what do you got for us? Well we do have an injured player on the field and I'm trying to figure out who it is but it doesn't seem like it's that serious right now. Let me go to one of the trainers and ask them. Thanks Marisa we'll get right back to you. So we still got the uh, injured player on the field right now. Uh, trying to see the number, it, who it is. It is going to be a uh, Cardinal. Looks like, yeah, he got rolled over by one of his own players. Though number 91 rolled over and hit his head. So it might be a Herman Torres tripped over the player. And it might be a head problem here. Maybe a, looks like he's a little dazed out there. And he'll get helped off the field, it looks like. Number 81, or 91, Herman Torres. And he's up, he's getting up, uh, helped off the field. Right now by the trainers, looks like he's gonna be okay. He looks like he's he's actually uh, walking, uh, you know, he's obviously getting help, but he's uh, walking pretty much on his own. Doesn't look too bad, so hopefully he'll be okay. So it's going to be 10.09 now, uh, remaining in the third quarter, 35-24. Uh, the Rams are uh, steadily moving the ball. It's 35-24. They're down by 11. It's going to be second and 13 now. And here we go. Martinez under center. We got two receivers handoff up the middle to Castellan. And he's going to pound his way. The ball's loose. Cardinals football along the 48-yard line. And the Cardinals caught a huge break. And here's this these fans who have uh, actually been pretty quiet the last couple couple positions coming alive now as the fumble will give Cardinals complete control of this football game and they'll try to run out what's left of that fourth quarter clock looks like in about nine minutes and 52 seconds and the University of Carter Ward Cardinals caught a huge huge break here as uh the Rams uh, completely had the momentum here in the fourth quarter uh, using the running game, uh, exploiting the uh, Cardinals defense here. Anyway, it's going to be 35-24, first and 10 now, ball on the 49-yard line. Specia in shotgun, another low snap. Specia throws up the middle, 
And a uh, pass intended for Robert Williams. That's going to be incomplete. It's going to bring up a second down and 10 now. On the last play, I was looking at the replay, and it looked like it just a uh, second defender came in after a gang tackle and just popped it out. And it just popped out, and that was able, and Cardinals were able to recover after that. Going to bring up a second down and 10 now. Ball on the 49-yard line, 9.47 remaining in the... Uh, fourth quarter and uh, there was a penalty on the play against uh, Monterey Tech and that will move the Cardinals forward so Monterey Tech kind of falling apart here as the game winds down after that fumble and another and a penalty a very quiet crowd very quiet stadium here until that fumble and uh, electrifying this crowd now momentum back with us with 947 remaining First and 10 now, ball on the 36-yard line. Specian shotgun, got two wide receivers, one back. That's going to be Trent Reels. Guys, this is the fullback, and here comes the snap for Specia. Hand off up the middle to Reels for uh, no gain. Looks like uh, it's going to bring up a second down now and long. Well, Cardinals right now not going so much for yardage and just going out to run out that clock as it'll tick down from nine minutes and 30 seconds. Your Cardinals up 35 to 24. Good job by the Monterey Tech there to clog the hole and keep Rios from running wild on them. Here we go, cards going from left to right on your radio dial and all black species and shotgun. We got two wide receivers, Rios in the backfield. We got Robert Williams uh, lined up on the left side, and here we go with an option to Reels at the 40, 35. He's going to be brought down by a host of uh, Monterey Tech Rams and a flag on the field way on the other side of, of the field. Troy, any idea what that could be? Uh, it looked like I couldn't really tell because there was a lot of action going on where the flag is. Maybe a face mask or some kind of illegal tackle, and it looks like they're pointing uh, towards the Monterey Tech side. I'll tell you what, that referee was the farthest from the play and he threw the flag. He's got a great set of eyes there. It's going to be a... Uh, oh, it's going to be against uh, UIW and against Monterey Tech, so a two-person flag and it will offset, so no harm done to Monterey Tech on the penalty or UIW. And we'll get a change of personnel on the field for the UIW offense. So ball's going to be now on the 37-yard line, 8.55 remaining in the game, second 11. Specia and shotgun reels in the backfield. We're going to have four wide receivers lined up for Incarnate Word. Uh, cards moving from right to left on your radio dial, and here comes the snap for Specia, and he's going to hand off up the middle to Trent Reels. He bounces off one uh, defender, and he gets a couple yards. It's going to bring him a third down and long now. Well, uh, good penetration there by Monterey Tech, able to get Rios down before he could really get going. Ended up gaining about two yards on the play, and it'll make it a third down and 10. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Monterey Tech's obvious strong point is a running game, and the uh, Connor Ward's uh, weakest point is obviously their rush defense, but with clock running down next time Monterey Tech uh, has the ball they're gonna have to think about some throwing we got 758 remaining third and ten ball on the 36 yard line Specia and quarterback here comes the snap and here comes the pressure from Monterey Tech and Specia goes around rolls out to the right and he throws down the corner touchdown Cardinals that's Robert Williams excuse me it's gonna be number six for incarnate word walls with the catch in the corner of the end zone, in the back of the end zone, off uh, some pressure off Specia, he rolled around to the right, caught Walls in the back corner of the end zone to put the cards up 41 to 24. That'll be uh, Todd Walker on the catch in the corner of the end zone. Specia able to roll out and break a tackle and throw a perfect ball, just throwing that uh, amazing strength to be able to run, go on the move and throw it downfield. And he continues to impress us. And here's the point after, and it's good. Cards up 42 to 24. Wow, what a great play. Uh, something that the Cardinals obviously needed here late in the fourth quarter as momentum was 
was uh, shifting over to Monterey Tex away, and that might have been the nail in the coffin. We've still got 747 remaining. Let's go to the sidelines and see uh, what Marisa has to say. Well, these guys are definitely, definitely pumped. They are super excited, and like I said before, these guys are in it to win it. Thanks, Marisa. 747 remaining, 42-24 uh, cards. I uh, still don't want to say it. Still 747 <laughs> remaining, but on their way to finishing their first ever uh, inaugural game. Troy, what do you think? Well, looking at the replay, I saw it was Derek Wells, Jaime, on nope, the catch problem at all. It's in the a, end zone. We both. Uh, <laughs> it is dark out here, and uh, my vision probably isn't the best. But uh, so that was Walls then. Uh, no problem at all. 42-24. The main thing is we did get the seven points here, and uh, Cardinals are are getting farther away from the uh, Monterey Tech Rams. So here we go on the ensuing kickoff. We have number 21, uh, the speedster from Monterey Tech, Castellan, set to receive. And I believe it's number 32 on that far side to receive uh, the kickoff. And Castellan's going to field it around the nine yard line, take it out to the 15. And a fake reverse, Castellan's going to hold on to it. Out to the 30, he has some room, 40, 45, 50, and he's all alone up there to the 45, 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Monterey Tech on the ensuing kickoff off a fake reverse. Well, UIW has had some scares on that and finally got burned for it as they'll take it all the way to the, Monterey Tech will take it all the way to the end zone and they will not go quietly into the night without some excitement as they shouldn't uh team should never give up like i said before a lot of time left 42 30 now with 732 remaining on a castellan kick return 90 yards uh i'm gonna call it so uh monterey tech right back at you here with only 732 remaining here comes the point after and uh we can hear this rams uh <laughs> fan base out yelling and screaming for their team and the extra point is good, making it 42-31. Your UIW Cardinals still up, and it looks, and if I were the coach, I would just hand it off to Rios or maybe mix in a couple other backs and try to get as many yards on the run and drain out that clock. Still seven minutes and 32 seconds left in the game. And Monterey Tech showing that they can score at any time, so. UIW cannot fall asleep here. Uh, Monterey Tech will not go away. And uh, we're going to see what uh, Coach Santiago has in store for us next. Let's go see if uh, we have any uh, uh, momentum change down there on the field with our sideline reporter. Well, it's definitely, definitely a big turnaround over here. The Monterey side is very, very excited. They were quiet for a while, but now they are awake. Thanks, buddy. So 7.32 remaining and set to receive for Incarnate Words, going to be number six, uh, Derek Walls. Well, UIW is showing some good returns today. Nothing amazing, though. Hopefully they can answer back from that kick return by Monterey Tech. And here we go with 7.32. they're having some trouble setting up the tee. Here we go, 7.32 remaining, 42.31. Um, Monterey Tech answers right back here at Benson Field. Got Derek Wall set to receive uh, the freshman 5'8", 152 pounds. And he's going to be fielded around the 20-yard line out to the uh, almost 30-yard line. We're going to call it around the 27. And uh, <laughs> Incarnate Word player uh, grabbed a loose Number. ball and started running towards the end zone. The play was already called dead. Rainy Enrique is the junior. The ball popped out after the play was blown dead, and he tried to run towards the end zone there. Did not get the call, though, so all for naught. So here comes Specia and his offense with 7.25 remaining and an 11-point lead in the first ever uh, Cardinal game. We're going to have uh, Walls lined up on the right for Incarnate Word. we got two receivers, Trent Reels in the backfield, Specia and Shotgun. And we have guys uh, lined up in the slot. Guys in motion now. Here comes the snap for Incarnate Word. And it's going to be handed off to Rios to about the 30-yard line. Well, this is what I expect the UIW offense to do for the rest of the game is just to pound it out. 
even though they refuse to go under center, <laughs> they will, uh, I guess, run it from the shotgun formation and continue to run it from the shotgun formation. So that's going to bring up a uh, second down now for Carter Word, ball on the 30-yard line. Clock ticking in our favor, 6.55 remaining in the game. Got Specia in shotgun, two backs, two wide receivers. It's going to be Trent Rios and Gies for Incarnate Word in the backfield. And here comes the snap and handoff up the middle. And uh, Cardinal breaks to the 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. And he's going to be tackled around the 30 yard line. Touchdown saving tackle for Monterey Tech. Alex Torres on the carry, got a little daylight, and I guess Monterey Tech just wasn't ready for that burst of speed. As soon as he, as soon as he got past the line of scrimmage, he just hit that hole, and he was off to the races. Got a shoestring tackle out of the back of the end, saves a touchdown for Monterey Tech as number 49 just completely lays himself out there. So here we go, it's gonna be a first and 10 now, ball on the 29 yard line, 619 remaining in the game, cards up 42-31, Specia shotgun, two receivers, and a two back set for Incarnate Word. And here comes the snap, Specia's gonna hand off to Rios, he's gonna go around the left corner, he's gonna be stopped around the 29 yard line. Cardinals continue to pound away, try to drain this clock. Six minutes left. After that carry, Rios, just a basic uh, uh, halfback uh, option up the middle. And that'll take us to our next play. So it's going to be second and 10 now, ball on the 29 yard line, under six minutes to play here at Benson Field. Specian, shotgun, two back set again, two wide receivers. And here comes his Monterey defense showing blitz here with under 5.30 remaining in the game. They're down 42-31. Here comes the snap. It's a low snap. And it's going to be a special play action up the field. And the pass is going to be incomplete around the 15-yard uh, line. And we got a Cardinal receiver coming up slow. That's going to stop the clock at 5.19 now and bring up a third down now for Incarnate Word. Uh, the tight end, Caleb Koshin. Landed, a little, got, landed on a little awkwardly there as the pass was thrown behi behind him. And uh, he'll head to the sideline. Looks like he's okay, though. So it's going to bring up third down and 10 now. Ball on the 29-yard line. Fisha out of the huddle. Back in shotgun. Two receivers, two set back for Incarnate Word. Protecting their 42-31 lead here. And again, the uh, Monterey Tech Rams showing a little pressure here. Here comes the snap up the middle. That's received, uh, excuse me, caught at the 20-yard uh, line. The ball's loose now. And we're going to see uh, one official saying Monterey Tech has it, and they do. So we're going to have a turnover now at the 5-12 mark of the fourth quarter. And a bad break for Incarnate Word. Well, that was a pretty good pass thrown a little bit behind, and as he turned around, he got hit to the ground. And it, yeah, indeed did come out right before his knee hit the ground, so. So that's gonna bring up a first down and 10 now, ball in the 19 for Monterey Tech, who's down by 11. 5-12, the clock is a factor here for Monterey Tech. They've been pounding the ball the whole game, and, and uh, that's the bread and butter. They found the Cardinals' weakness, uh, the run defense, but now uh, time's not on their side now. They're down 11 points. They're gonna need two scores now uh, if they wanna win this game. So it's Martinez under center, little play action, little pump fake. He's gonna go long downfield, has a man around the 50 yard line, and it's complete. He's gonna go out to the 40 yard line, 45-30, uh, and he's gonna finally be brought down at the 30 yard line of uh, Incarnate Word territory. We're gonna have exactly five minutes to play now. Uh, Monterey Tech is uh, threatening to score here late in the game. Well, Monterey Tech just uh, continuing to show they have heart here, not going not going quietly into that night. They're only down 11, so a touchdown here can really uh, turn the momentum in their fair and put them back in this ball game. Still a lot of time left here. Uh, the Rams are going to need two scores. First and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. Martinez under center. He's going to hand off to Alanis, who's going to get some yardage up the middle. It's going to bring up a second down. He got close to the first down marker. It's going to be second in a few, if any. It's going to be 441 remaining in the game. 42-31 Cardinals lead. 
Cardinals defense just trying to hold on here, trying to keep that clock running 430 as we try to hold on to the win here. Martinez under center, little play action, looks, throws out to the 10 yard line. That's gonna be complete now for a first down. So it's gonna be a first down around the 11 yard line now for the uh, Monterey Tech Rams at the 416 mark. This is fourth down territory. Uh, Monterey Tech do, does need uh, two scores, uh, at least two scores. They could actually uh, get a field goal here and they would have to get a touchdown and an extra point. That certainly seems possible with the way this fourth quarter has been going. And on the suing play, it's gonna be number 22 up the middle, that's Khan. It's gonna put him inside the five yard line now with 357 remaining. Cardinals still trying to hold on to that lead as uh, Monterey Tech is about three yards away from the end zone here. And a touchdown here will really, really put them back in this ball Martinez game. Martinez under center, here comes the snap. He's gonna hand off to Castellan around the right corner. That's touchdown Monterey Tech. Excuse me, that's gonna be number eight, Atlantis. Touchdown Monterey Tech and the lead shortens for Carnet Word with 334 remaining just like that. Well, Monterey Tech, it looked like they were just about to get out of this game, and then they have a kick return for a touchdown and a huge pass after a fumble. And they are back in this ball game, and don't count them out yet, folks. That's 42-37. Your UIW Cardinals up, and we'll see what the strategy is. Looks like they're going to go for it. So, Troy, some of the things that got the Cardinals in this position now, they had a comfortable lead. Uh, I would suggest first thing is the special teams, like you've talked about the entire game, they didn't get the special teams going, and the Rams are going to go for two, and they get it. So that's going to be 42-39. They are a field goal away from tying this game up. 334 remaining in the fourth quarter. Well, I'm going to see on the kickoff how in trouble the uh, Cardinals are. Let's see if the Rams are going to kick a... I would probably at least try the onside kick here. Uh, no, I think it's still too early. we got 3.34 remaining. I don't know. And uh, I think they're going to go ahead and try to kick that as far away from their uh, goal as possible. Onside kick, if they don't get it, the cards have good field position. Still 3.34 remaining. So let's go check out uh, our sideline reporter to see uh, how the fans are doing. We're only, uh, Monterey Tech's within three points of tying this one up. Marisa? Well, Monterey Tech is certainly, certainly excited. And you know what? The UIW Cardinal coaches are not backing down. They are in it to win it. Like I said, they're kind of furious, but they, you know what? They're getting their guys ready and they are ready. Thanks, Marisa. 334 remaining, 42-39. Cardinals set to receive. We have one receiver in the backfield, and it uh, looks like uh, Cardinals are getting ready for this onside kick or some kind of onside form kick. of it. 22 Trent Rios is, gonna, is back deep to return. First time today. I still think it's too early for an onside kick. It's 334 uh, in the fourth quarter. Well, it can't uh, hurt to be cautious. The Rams uh, are three points away from tying this game up. And here comes the kick, and Rios will set to receive at the 23-yard uh, line. He's going to be out to the 30 and get tackled around the 34-yard line. So here we go. This is it. 3.29 remaining. Cards have the ball. It's going to be a first and 10. They're going to have the ball around the 32-yard uh, line now on their own side of the field. They're in all black jerseys moving from right to left on your radio dial. It's been a very exciting game, very exciting first half and fourth quarter, very grindy down uh, third quarter, if you will. So here comes uh, Thomas Specia and his Cardinal offense set to take the field. They're taking a three point lead here late in the fourth. It's gonna come down to their offensive team captain, Thomas Specia here. He's gonna have to take control over this offense and just try to run out the rest of that clock or put it in for another score. So Specia now, shotgun, man in motion, low snap, and it's a key for Specia up the middle. He, he's going to gain a few yards. It's going to bring up a second down now with 322, and the clock's still ticking. Every time they snap the ball, my heart stops a little because it is always a little bit low, and I never know if Specia is going to be able to handle it. I can't agree with you more, Troy. That was uh, uh, every time you know it's going to be a, a low snap, and that's something they had uh, worked on. 
They, I mean, uh, that was a problem they had in their uh, black and white game a week ago last Friday and still doesn't seem like it's gotten any better. So out of the huddle, it's going to be second and nine now. Ball on the 34. Cards for taking a three-point lead with a lot of time left in this one. Specian, shotgun. we got three receivers, one in the slot. Trent Rios in the back. we got a man in motion now. And a ram showing blitz. Here comes the snap for Incarnate Word. And handoff to Rios up the middle. And he's going to gain about three or four yards on that carry. Still going to be about a third down now. Big third down coming up now for Incarnate Word. Well, both teams still have two timeouts left. And, yes, uh, the, this could make or break the UIW's first game here as they have about a third down and five left to the first down. So if they get the first down, it's going to be a big one. And if they don't, it's going to be a huge uh, swing of momentum towards Monterey Tech. So here we go. We have Specia on the sideline talking to uh, Coach Santiago about this next play. We're going to have a timeout Monterey Tech. Troy, what do you call right here on uh, on this call? This big uh, third down here. I would try, the game. try action, uh, play action uh, PA boot or something. Try to get Specia on the run. That way he has the option of tucking it and running it or uh, throwing down the field. They've had success with it most of the game, and Specia has shown us his ability to throw on the run. So I, I say why not go for it one more time when the game counts. So we have a big third down now coming back. I'm going to call it about third and five here at the 235 mark. Here comes the Monterey Tech defense. Specia back onto the field. 235 remaining in the uh, game. Cards for taking a three-point lead here at Benson Field. This is the first inaugural football game here at Incarnate Word. So Specia getting in their calling the uh, play in the huddle now. It all comes, I mean, next play comes down on this uh, play, actually, and this game is down to this play. With uh, two minutes and 35 seconds left, Cardinals need to get the first down here. Specia and shotgun, we got three receivers. We got one back now. Uh, Monterey showing uh, blitz here. Here comes the snap. Specia drops back, throws, and the pass is caught for a first down at the 45 yard line. And I'll tell you what, I don't know how there wasn't a flag on that play. Uh, the defender was all over, it looks to be uh, walls. Of, the defender was all over walls. He still caught the ball. Anyway, it's gonna be a first down and 45. Yeah, looking at the replay, and the defender got there a little bit too early, but Wall is able to come up with a huge catch. And that's gonna give UIW some momentum and keep the clock running. I tell you running. what, I got the worst vision in the house, and if I saw that pass interference, then it was a pretty bad. So we got Specia now in shotgun, two receivers, two back set, first and 10 ball in the 45, clock at the 209 mark for uh, in Incarnate Ward's favor. Here comes the snap, another low snap, handoff to uh, Rios up the middle. He's gonna get about the 46 yard line, maybe a pickup, one yard pickup on the play. So that's gonna bring up a second down now. Second down and about nine as Cardinals are just going to look to run out the clock as it continues to tick down. Monterey only has one timeout left. And we're about to hit the minute 35 mark. And it looks like they're going to try to squeeze as much out of that clock as possible. And, and uh, uh, the everyone's getting excited now. So here we go, all the fans on their seats. Second and nine, ball on the 46 yard line. Specia, shotgun, got two back receivers, excuse me, two backs, two wide receivers. Here comes the snap, and he's going to hand off to the middle to Trent Rios. He breaks out to the 50-yard line, past the 50. We are in Rams territory now. Going to bring up a third down and short here for Incarnate Word. And I'll tell you what, this fan support for Incarnate Word is electrifying. Everybody on their feet now. They know what's at stake here, 105 remaining, and I think uh, the Rams are now going to uh, use their final timeout. Is that right, Troy? I, I believe so. I haven't gotten the official call on who called the timeout. But there is a minute five left. And if Cardinals can hold on for those minute and five seconds, they will have a undefeated record to start out their program. So it's been a very exciting, electrifying uh, game to say the least. It is coming down to the wire. Uh, Monterey Tech scoring late to come within three, uh, completing a uh, scoring on a two, min, uh, two point conversion late also. Uh, that helped to get in within three. Now it's gonna bring a 
So what do you call here, hi man? What play call? Well, first off, um, I'm trying to figure out why the scoreboard says first and ten. It's uh, third and three. And uh, second of all, on the third and three, um, we're going to play it safe and we're going to give it to Trent Reels up the middle or quarterback keeper uh, up the middle. Uh, anything that has uh, any play that has to do without throwing the ball, I'm in favor for maybe some play action uh, specia up the middle for a 40 yard touchdown or a 46 yard touchdown uh, would probably be my favorite call. So here we go. It's going to be a third down in about four. Ball on the 46 yard line. 108 remaining in the game. Specia and shotgun, two wide receivers. We got uh, Trent Rios in the backfield. And uh, Rams again showing like they're going to blitz. Here comes the snap up to Trent Rios. And he breaks a couple of tackles. And he looks like he got the first down out to the uh, 40. Excuse me. We're going to wait for this pile to We're unfold gonna... here. And Trent Rios is going to come out without his helmet. And it's a game of inches now, folks, as we'll see where they spot this ball. And this is going to determine whether Monterey Tech has any hope for the rest of this game. And it looks like it's going to be marked right on that first down marker. And we'll see if they'll, and they're going to bring the chains out to measure this one. So cross your fingers, folks. While they measure the chains, let's go down to uh, Marisa, our sideline reporter. Maybe we can hear the crowd reaction and we'll know if we got the first down or not. Marisa? Everybody is starting re really, really excited. They're about to, oh, unfortunately, I think it's going to go to Monterey. But that's okay because the crowd is still really, really excited. Everybody's pumped, and all they're asking for is for some more cheers. Go Cardinals! So it's fourth and one now with 102 remaining. Ball on the 45-yard line. You know you don't want to give the ball back to Monterey Tech, especially right here. Let's see what Coach Santiago is going to dial up for his Cardinal offense. And uh, Specia is staying on the field, so we're obviously going to go for it. Here it looks like it could be a quarterback keeper or up the middle of Trent Reels. Either one I think will suffice here. I think everyone knows it's going to be going up the middle here for Incarnate Word. And... Uh, Need to be careful here. Don't want to get a delay of game. And here comes the clock now. Both the scoreboard clock and the uh, play clock. 25 second clock as uh, is going. So we're under a minute now. Fourth and one now. Ball on the 45. Cards up 42 39. Specia and shotgun. Got two wide receivers. We've got Trent Reels right to the left of them. And we have the fullback geese right to the right of them. And here comes the cadence from Specia. And, and we're going to call a timeout here. And a uh, hard cadence from uh, Thomas Specia, maybe uh, trying to draw the uh, defense off sides. Whew. They have about a half of an inch of a centimeter to get to that first down marker. And they still won't go under center. We'll see if they're going to keep the offense out there or was that just to draw the, see if they could get the defense to go off sides. And it looks like the offense is going to stay out there. So the cards the will uh, burn a timeout. And uh, offense is staying out there. 42-39, and it looks like the uh, Cardinals, I'm sorry, I just want to say that I didn't know if they took a penalty or not because the scoreboard's showing now fourth and six. It was fourth and one, and uh, they haven't moved the ball, so obviously the scoreboard is wrong. Um, and this we see furthermore. Here. So something's off here. Either way, it's going to be fourth down, 36 seconds left to go in the game, 42-39 uh, Cardinals way. And this looks like this is going to be the play of the game. What an exciting game for the first ever football game here at Benson Field and, and for the Incarnate like Word uh, football program. They're going to punt here after a long deliberation, and they'll bring out the punt team. What do you think about that, Jaime? Um... You want to, would you go for it? I would go for it. Fourth and one, I would go for it. Oh, it looks like they are going for it. Or maybe not. Now they're, looked like a, they've So here we go, here's the snap, here. and Cardinals punt. Not going to be fielded, and we're going to have a good punt out to the eight yard line. So great punt now, and now that great punt turned uh, into a great decision. 29 seconds left, folks, and they have about the length of the field to go. They're on their own eight-yard line. 
and we'll see. They have 29 seconds and one timeout to get it across the field, Jaime. What do you, what do you call as the de defensive coordinator here? Uh, wide receivers, no backs, and we start airing it down the field. We got 29 seconds left, and the thing about it is, is uh, you know, it's not too far fetched. They got, to, they got some separations from the Cardinals cornerbacks uh, throughout the game. So here we go. We got five wide receivers. We got one back. We got Martinez in shotgun. 29 seconds left to go, and here comes the snap. Martinez looking downfield. He launches one down to about the 20-yard line, and that's going to be caught for. Uh, first down right at the 20-yard line, 23 seconds left now remaining in the game. And it looks like Monterey Tech's going to take their last timeout here, or they already lost their timeout before that scoreboard's throwing me off, folks. So Martinez now Biggest in shotgun. Minutes. We got four wide receivers, one back for protection. Martinez drops back, and he's looking downfield. He's got some time. He launches one, and it's way overthrown. And they are going for it all now. 13 seconds left. That's going to bring a third down and 10 now. And the thing I'm wondering about is their uh, kicker. If they do happen to, to get a reception down there, how, how far can their field goal kicker uh, hit from? So it's, this is D2 uh, college football. I don't imagine if they get to the 40, they can nail one from there. So they're going to have to get some yardage if they want to try to tie this one up. 13 seconds remaining in the game. Third and 10, 42 and 39. Martinez and company in shotgun formation. Got four wide receivers. We got one back for his protection. And here comes the snap. Martinez drops back. Little pump fake. And he, little shovel pass to uh, up the middle. He's going to break up to the 40, from the 40 yard line. Four seconds remaining on the clock and uh, they're gonna it is college football so the clock will not start i was wondering who called the, the time out but you just reminded me we're playing college football the clock's gonna stop when the chains move so we're gonna have four seconds remaining here uh here at benson field 42 39 and this is gonna be the last play of the game well borregos are gonna send all the wide receivers down the field and just hope that they can get one open and UIW is just going to send every defender they have into that secondary and try to not go for picks, just bat the ball down. Four seconds left on the clock, we're going to figure out maybe there is a timeout on the field. Looks like UIW called a timeout on the field. Interesting. And we have about five defensive backs settled around the 25, 30 yard line. Uh, three defensive linemen here set up. So uh, this is a prevent defense if I've ever seen one. 42, 39, four seconds left to go in the game. Cards protecting that three point lead. This is the first game ever here uh, at Incarnate Word at Benson Field. Uh, playing Monterey Tech drove up eight miles to here uh, for a great, exciting, electrifying game here in San Antonio, Texas. You're listening to KRW.org. Here we go, folks. This is going to be uh, the last play of the game. Four seconds left. Uh, Ala, due to via, excuse me, any penalties, barring any penalties. Here comes the snap. Martinez drops back. So we got five receivers. He's going to launch one towards the end zone. And the ball is incomplete. That's going to do it. The game's over. Carter Warren has won 42-39 in the first inaugural game. And these players are going crazy on the field. Here come the student fans running into the center of the field. Troy? What an exciting game to start off your program as the Cardinals are able to keep the Monterey Tech out of the end zone on the last play. I'm surprised they didn't try a hook and ladder. Just a deep Hail Mary ball it is unsuccessful to end the game. But you got to admit, Monterey Tech never gave up, and they showed hard out there. Yeah, they sure did. I want to give a special thanks to Monterey Tech, to all their fans, coaches, uh, and family. They did a great, great job here at Incarnate Word, a lovely guest over here in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, we're going to go down to the locker room to try to go get some interviews. Don't go anywhere. We're going to come back for a post-game show. We're going to take it back to the station for a few moments, and then we're going to come back on the air here from the press box, and we're going to talk about this uh, post-game show. So I'm Jaime Valdez with Troy Miles. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to KIW.org.